Well, here we go with day two, week five of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Look at this, so much energy, so much love, so many amazing vehicles that we've seen so far. And by the way, almost 8 million people have tuned in to see not only some incredible deals, but the very latest of the 80,000 factory fresh RVs that we are bringing straight to you. And all oh, wait until you see what we have to offer today, and you are not going to want to go anywhere. I'm Sean Parr from the nationally syndicated radio show across the country. I've got us, the Remingtons, Caleb and Tiffany. Yes, hello. So excited for day two. If you haven't registered already, please do so. You got to text URVS to 46642 or comment URVS down below to be eligible for these awesome giveaways we got going today. Oh, we have ultimate giveaways is what you're saying. The most ultimate giveaways. Remember, we're giving away RVs throughout the whole 10 weeks that we're here. Unbelievable. Crazy. We've had some incredible stuff that we've given away. Also, welcome our special guest today from Two Traveling Dogs. Of course, we've got Nate. We've got Rachel spreading the light and the love. you got your dogs with you. And, of course, you guys love to do this lifestyle. Oh, we absolutely love it, and we're looking forward to this second day. We're going to have more RVs and hopefully some more snacks because Chris Young keeps stealing my snacks. <laughs> I'm down to eating dog treats. Does anybody know what not for human consumption means? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's all about. And Nate has been so fun. We, uh, Rachel, it's great to have you guys here with your, uh, we call them the furry friends and yes. our, our family members that you guys take on the road with you. Yes, they are loving it. They get to shop every day. And we just want to inspire everyone to travel with their pets because it's amazing. Yeah, they live the lifestyle. We know what we're talking about. And speaking of which, we're going to start with an amazing section. This is the couple's getaway section that you are going to love. The couple's getaway section. And Chris, we've got him busy with the Forest River Arctic Wolf 291 RL. Chris, take it away. Did you get a chance to get out and about in 2020? You probably didn't. Well, with 2021 being the year of RV travel, you and your loved one it's time for you guys to get out and see America the safest way possible in an RV. This segment is all about the couple's getaway campers. I'm going to show you some, well, large to medium to small RVs that are going to be right for you to get out, whether you want to entertain, whether you need some additional space, you want the creature comforts of home, and you want to do it affordably. Those last two, I'm going to have in every one of these RVs this segment. What's up? It's Chris Young, and I'm standing inside the Forest River Arctic Wolf 291 RL. The Forest River Arctic Wolf brand of full-profile fifth wheels is one of the largest growing, most popular fifth wheels here over the last year. And with 2021 really being the year of RV travel, we thought, hey, why not give you a chance to see these beauties in person and in all their blue light glory. I'm going to start right back here in the entertainment portion of this rear living coach because when it comes to getting out as a couple, entertaining is going to be a big part of it. Whether you just want to go see friends and family or you're going to make friends at the campsite, you're going to want to have a space to entertain. Beautiful solid wood cabinetry, solid wood construction all the way around too. And with Forest River, the way they create their coaches, the way they make them and manufacture them, they really do a good job of shrinking their carbon footprint. Less impact on the environment. They reduce Reduce and reuse, which allows them to pass along the savings. I love the fact that we have the mount for the TV that allows us to take the TV wherever we want to go. We can use it here, the bedroom, or outside. And you got the blue accent lights over there behind where the TV would go. Get your cable connection and your power port right here. Frosted glass inlays in my storage cabinets. Love that because it just looks really cool. They've really modernized RVs for 2021. And we do have the driven entertainment system, which is AM, FM, it's Bluetooth, HDMI, and USB. You can run this from an app on your cell phone, allowing you to control that stuff uh, entertainment-wise, whether you're inside or out, just do it from your cell phone. Beautiful little glass fireplace with the LED backlighting and the multiple flame settings and the blower. That is what I think is essential as a couple. Because think about it, you and your loved one, you maybe want to go to the Kentucky Derby, or you want to go to a basketball game, you want to go tailgate, you want to go to a race, you just want, you just want to get out and go because you haven't done anything. Imagine it's a nice chilly night, maybe it's spring or it's fall, heck, even summer nights around here might get kind of chilly. You got the windows open, cross breeze going, and all of a sudden you get that 
Cut this on, knocks the chill off the air, and adds an ambiance and romantic appeal that makes you go, wow, this was a good investment for us to get out and do this. Now, this beautiful 291RL will sleep up to four people because you got the tri-fold leatherette sofa right here. Pull that out, can easily fit two adults, surrounded by beautiful panoramic large windows, cross breeze, sunlight, wood valances. LED sconces, I mean, this is your home away from home when you're out on the road. And over here, I got my leatherette recliners with the blue accent LED lighting. Comfortable, they have massage, they have heat, they have USB charging. Those, when you open up the windows and get that cross breeze going, I'm sorry. They say recliners aren't sleepers. That's going to knock you out. You're done. And here's the best part about this beautiful thing. Here during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. This Forest River Arctic Wolf 291 RL, usually 55816. Not today, Jack. You're looking at 37995. That's what it starts at, or as low as nine dollars and ten cents a day. 8,300 pounds dry, 33 feet long, can easily sleep four people, dual opposing slides, giving us an island kitchen, and you got the beautiful live edge here on the table that's solid wood, residential, once again, LED sconces. Sit here and reconnect and just enjoy each other's company. Pretty much wherever you sit or sleep inside the Arctic Wolves, you're also going to find dual USB charging ports. But let's continue on with the kitchen because we don't have a whole lot of time here with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. I just want to kind of show you some of the highlights. Solid surface pressed countertop. Undermounted farmhouse style sink with the graphite style coloring. I love that, the matte black. Plus, I got the sprayer nozzle. Over here, I got the pressed solid surface countertop as well. Got me some glass cabinetry. A cutting board that doubles as a backsplash. Got the little magnets right there. Glass cover for my cooktop. LED accent on my lights. Check out my Greystone 16 inch oven right there. It's pot and pan storage. And look at the room and the construction, the attention to detail on everything that they have here on this Arctic Wolf. We even got the LED accent light on the inside. <laughs> they, they like that blue light, man. <laughs> it's an Arctic Wolf. I guess you got blue eyes. I love it. Pantry that has a light as well. Good storage space going all the way up the top. Oh, wow, Kev, we could get a, uh, we could get a gun case in there, man. Look at that. Definitely get some fishing rods in there. Maybe not a gun case, but a rifle case, but maybe. Little coffee station over here, dual USB again, more storage, hand sanitizing station. I mean, the Forest River Arctic Wolves are all about packing those comforts and those amenities from home without hitting you really hard in the wallet. Because you're talking about starting at $37,995 or as low as $9.10 a day. I mean, for something like this, I got my little command panel right here, which can also be run off the app, run the slides out, run the air, the heat, however you want to do it, all from the comfort and convenience of your cell phone. Check all my tanks, my batteries. Come up here into the bathroom. We got the barn style door, giving us more space, and maximizing the space that we have too. Storage, good spot for towels, mirrored medicine cabinet right there, large, oversized sink, single surround shower in here too, plenty of headroom. I mean. Now, with this being a fifth wheel, you are going to have more headroom, especially up at the end cap. But you have six foot four inch just in the slides of headroom back there. Got the beautiful, I mean, it's just light, airy. You can relax on this 60 by 80 queen size bed in here. You got the little remote system right there that also has USB on the side to charge your cell phones. We got, once again, that live edge. On everything, pretty much everything that's going to be wood is going to have that live edge. Just adds a beautiful appeal to it. Dual ACs in here. You got dual 15K ACs, 35K BTU air conditioner. If I want to mount a TV in here, here's my little paw thing. Just put it right there. Boop, 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 boop. Cable TV hookup. Ward storage. I mean, look, there are so many options for couples, getaways, campers, but you want to look for like rear dining, rear living, rear entertaining. Those are the ones that let you know, okay, this is probably a good couples coach, uh, rear bath, so forth and so on. But there are tons of options. You can make a bunkhouse, a, a couples camper that's good for entertaining. But with this one starting at $37,995, as low as $9.10 a day, to sleep for 8,300 pounds dry, 33 feet long, I think you owe it to yourself. You and your loved one now have the chance to get out and do what you always wanted to do. Solid steps. Check out the beautiful tinted glass that we have there. 
porthole right here for my power connections. If I wanted to run them outside, I could because I got my cable, my power right there. Leash latch for the friends. Armored underbelly, which means it's a enclosed and heated underbelly under there. But with the way that they did the armored underbelly, it's panels. So you can take a panel off to fix some stuff if you need to. You don't have to roll out the entire thing. Propane tank there, 12 volt edge awning with the blue LED light strip. We even have the blue LED backlights inside the speakers there. Molded end cap right here with the running lights. I got my Rhino box right there. Probably one of the most important things when it comes to setting up and making life easy, the auto level right there. It's a little tight over here, but just trust me. You think we can get in there? Okay, yeah, we can get in there. All right. I will say, just trust me when I tell you that your connections <laughs> are right here. And you'll see my slides. Love it. We're going to see the axles on the other side. But here's the deal. With 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, with 20,000 already on the lot, over 150 locations nationwide, we have something that's right for you. All you got to do to get in on it is text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, FRESH. That'll let you get up with one of our specialists who let you talk to finance. We'll send the paperwork to you. Postage paid on the envelope so you can return it. We'll even deliver these units to you. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your home. How nice is that? Now, if you say, Chris, I like this 291 RL. This Arctic Wolf is really cool. You know, look at the beautiful nitro-filled tires with the pressure monitoring system on this 15-inch aluminum Dexter Easy Lube axles, those aluminum rims that are going to be rust resistant, extra wide berth on the suspension there, you know, to kind of keep it from rocking and jutting back and forth. How can I get this one? My little LP quick connect for my grill under there. You see the tag hanging? How can I get this one, Chris? That's easy. Just drop me a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. Now, we also have people standing by that you can talk to. All you got to do to get a hold of them is call 877 297 8725. But here's the deal. Can you see yourself and your loved one getting out and about, enjoying each other's company, in the beauty of something like this, the Arctic Wolf? Where would you go? Where did you want to go that you didn't get a chance to go to this year? But 2021 is going to be the year. What could it be? Be the Maybe it's just even the Mammoth Cave. Maybe it's just going to grandma's house, the lake, the, the mountains, you don't have to worry about getting a hotel room and then are picking something like, you know, a timeshare where you're all of a sudden locked into one spot every time you want to go somewhere. With RVs, you get the freedom of taking you and your loved ones wherever you want to go. So 80,000 factory fresh units coming. You want to get in on that. Drop us a comment down below, fresh, or text fresh to 46642. If you think you're at a competitor and you think they got a better deal, I can guarantee you they're not. Just look at it this way. They got three, four locations maybe. Let's say you get your RV and all of a sudden you're in Florida. They don't have a location in Florida. What's going to happen? Where you got to take it? You got to take it back to where you got it from to get it fixed. We got Good Sam. We got extended warranty plans. We got roadside assistance. We got Good Sam campgrounds, campground discounts. Competition doesn't have that. And plus, we have 150 plus locations that if something does happen, you're close to a camping world or a Gander RV and Outdoors. Not to mention, when you want to gear up for doing your hunting, your fishing, or just your outdoor activities, we got that stuff too. <laughs> so, but if you think, okay, sure, whatever, hey, these, these guys have a pretty good deal, we're going to beat it. Give me a chance to beat it. No skin off your back. Just text BEAT to 46642. Drop me a comment down below. BEAT. I will beat that deal or I will give you 1000 bucks in cash guaranteed. No questions asked. That's what it's about. Ultimate RV Show National Tour is going to continue with more of those beautiful couples getaway RVs next. Thank you so much, Chris. And we're making him work hard, guys. He's always looking for the softest bed, I think. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to see Chris busy throughout the day. As a matter of fact, we're going to get ready to go into a Keystone Cougar here in just a moment. We always find him, though, looking at the king size or the queen size bed. And he's always, like, laying down on the job. I, I know. He's, such a, <laughs> he's a lazy man out there. No, we love that last model, um, especially being the couple's travel trailer. You know, that's what Tiff and I are in. I feel like it's a good... 
it's almost like a class C, yeah. but in a trailer form, you know, it, it's got all the room. And so, yeah, we just, we're, we're obsessed with them. And Nate, you guys have a fifth wheel and we you went from we a do. class A to a fifth wheel. And one of the things we talked about is the room that you oh, have in your fifth man. wheel. That's what it's all about. You know, when you got a motorized RV, that front cabin that you drive in kind of takes up some of the space in the fibers. Woo! Space. <laughs> I love it. Space is what it's all about. One of my favorite parts of the Keystone Cougar 22 MLS is the storage underneath, and it goes all the way through, and it's lit so well. Chris will take a look at that and so much more. Chris, take it away. It's all about the couple's getaway right now at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young standing inside the brand new for 2021. I was really excited for this one. 27 feet long, 5,800 pounds dry weight. This is is an opulent couples coach known as the Keystone Cougar Half Ton 22 MLS. The Cougar Half Tons were made for half ton pickup trucks to tow. And with a dry weight of just under 6,000 pounds, or I mean 5,800 pounds, that's a pretty good sweet spot. But with this segment being all about the couples getaway, this is where you and your loved one can kind of really reconnect. We've talked a lot about bunks, we've talked a lot about family getaways. This is for the couples because You've been trapped inside the house. You've had to put up with all this craziness for a year. With 2021 being the year of RV travel, maybe you just need to get away. And these Keystone Cougars, since they're rated for 0 to 100 degrees, you could set these up and really do some solid four-season camping. So even if you just put this out near the lake or you put this out at the mountains or, you know, wherever, this could be your vacation home, your vacation getaway. Now, this 22 MLS, which is really a mid-living king bed RV, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to say this is a rear kitchen, rear bath combo because that's what you have. Look at how they designed this kitchen, almost a modified L shape with on the off camp side, my fridge and my cooktop being in the slide and right here on the rear wall, plenty of countertop space with a beautiful 50-50 undermounted farmhouse style sink with a high rise faucet and sprayer under there. I mean, the pressed solid surface countertop. This is, yeah, man. Let me tell you what, Keystone, you get... When Kentucky hits that three basket, you get my little golf clap. That's what you get right there. When Tennessee gets in that end zone, you get my little golf clap. That's what you're getting right here. And this beauty with the rustic light interior, hideaway hinges, solid construction is starting at $29,995 or as low as $7.18 a day. To sleep three people in comfort and style. I mean, take a look at this. We got a high-rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush behind my pocket door. Plenty of countertop space here. GFCI outlet storage right there. Brush nickel towel rack right here. Space. Space. And 36 by 48. Am I right? Yeah, 36 by 48. Residential style shower with these barrel ceilings giving you over 80 inches of height. I don't really need the skylight, but look at the additional headroom that I have in here. This is beautiful. Corner notches, residential style, brush nickel fixtures for my hardware. And with the 2021s, they've upgraded a lot of things, including the air conditioner. They're, they're now using the blade system, which, you know, kicks out air 20% more effectively. And they're using hyperdeck flooring. Hyperdeck flooring is a, get this, it is a polypropylene laminated fiberglass. Somebody out there is shaking their head because they paid attention in science. I didn't. All I know is that it's water resistant, slip resistant, easy to clean, and will help extend the life of that RV so much better. That's what I do know. But as far as that polypropylene, laminated, but look, if it don't contain bourbon, football, basketball, hunting, or fishing in any of the ingredients, chances are I don't know what it is. I'm just going to let you know that up front. What I do know is that this coach is great for that active couple that wants to take a lot of creature comforts of home with them. Check out my 10 cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric with the paneling, rustic looking like the old school barn style. I love it. Even the backsplash over here really is just rustic and appealing. More storage, flush mounted micro, uh, Magic Chef microwave, plenty of storage over here. Oh, look at this. Oh, so look, they tried to sneak this in on me. They said this coach was 35807. 
Aren't you glad the Ultimate RV Show is going on? Because I'm giving it to you starting at $29,995 or as low as $7.18 a day for a brand spanking new floor plan. The 2021 Keystone Cougar Half Ton M22 MLS. Look at that deep storage containers back there. We could probably fit a bob in there fairly easily. Here's my reconnection spot for my loved one. If I wanted to make a camp cooked meal in my split, you know, rear bath, rear kitchen, come out here. I got the dinette that reduces down into a sleeper. This plush, comfortable, poly mix fabric that is water resistant, easy to clean, and pet friendly. Plus, I got storage underneath both sides. I got my ducks in here with the tough locked in the floor. I got my large window to look out on the campsite, even larger TV on a swivel, and check out my storage unit. There's my Furion AM FM command center. Over here is my in command, which to have these on the Cougar Half Ton travel trailers is a very nice touch. In command allows you to control everything from the AC, the slides, the awnings, all from the convenience of your cell phone. Very nice touch. Barrel style ceilings, like I mentioned before, 15,000 BTU air conditioner, 35,000 BTU furnace, some of the largest tanks you're going to find in RVs too. The fresh tank, 60 gallons. And then you got dual 30s, 30 for the gray, 30 for the black. That really allows you to extend your camping adventure. So if you want to go off the grid, go boondocking, you're wired for solar on this bad boy. You got the in command. You got large tanks, tremendous insulation, zero to 100 degrees, uh, and opulence to really get away and really enjoy each other's company. That, to me, sounds like a great opportunity to just get out. Somebody left the heat on this seat. Wow, these things work really well. <laughs> it's, I feel it. It took me a minute because, you know, I'm, I, I got that flat butt syndrome. I ain't got nothing back there, so it took me a minute. It went through my wallet, and wow, this is... These are some nice heaters on this bad boy. Let me cut on the massage, too. Oh, there we go. Plus, I got the USB charging port right here. Oh, pillow top, plush, comfortable. Open up this window, let the cross breeze come through. Maybe we just got finished doing the bourbon tour. Maybe we, me and my, my significant other, we decided to go fishing or hunting. Come back and just want to kick back and chill with beauty and opulence. This is the way to do it. Now, this one would sleep three people easily with the dinette that converts. So if you got if you want to bring the kids or the dogs, whatever, that's a good spot. But this is really a couple's coach. You have the option there, which is nice to have, but you do not have the separation of space. Sure, I got a privacy curtain right here, but there's really no solid barrier between me and the living area. So that's why I say these are good couples coaches for you and your significant other to get away. King size bed, strut supported storage underneath right there, and you'll see my cutting board and drying rack for the sink. Dual USB charging ports on both sides, plus I got cubby storage under my nightstands, mirrored ward storage, but probably one of the best features you're going to find in an RV, especially if, it's, if the bedroom's in the front, is having that privacy one-way window in the end cap. That's where you can go check out the sunrise and the sunset. I mean, imagine, when was the last time you got to get out with that significant other and go someplace where when you looked at it, it's freaking nature, man. We're in an area where some of the most beautiful countryside exists. If you've never driven to Pigtail in Arkansas, you're missing out. Looking out right there. Cup of coffee in hand. Maybe you're just sitting there side by side at the booth dinette and you're reconnecting. And all for as little as $7.18 a day? Come on, man. $7.18 a day. That's it. That's it. For you and your loved one, you look like you probably don't have one, but if you did, you and your loved one could get out and see America the safest way possible. Come here, we always talk about, you know, I'm always talking about we could fit a Bob in there. This is, this is my Bob, this is little Robin, or as I like to call him, little Bobby Devlins. I love Bobby, he's one of our videographer extraordinaires. But he and his beautiful wife, Kim, could get something like this Keystone Cougar right here, 22 MLS, starting at $7.18 a day, bring the dogs, 
and just get out there and have fun. You got a large awning, LED light strip, dual zone speakers, sealed safety glass all the way around. Look at that beautiful aluminum rims right there. Not going to rust on you. Got the 15 inches nitro fill with the suspension in there. My key TV connection out here. So if I wanted to set up the TV or the cable, bam, I got the power right there. Bam. I could do it. Do some entertaining. It's about the couples. It's about reconnecting. The thing we did not get to do, and we're so stressed out, and we're so wound so tight right now, that every little thing just sets us off for no reason. And it's like, if you take a minute and just stop and breathe, get out. See America the safest way possible. You're in your home. You're taking your RV with you. Spare tire on the back. Here's all my multi-source connections. If I need to set it up, it's behind lock and key. Solid ladder mounted with the handles over the top for the additional security of getting up there, cleaning the roof. Plus, you remember on the inside, we had those barrel ceilings. Those arch ceilings really help keep the rain and the snow off of this RV. I mean, take a look at the, that, the arch on that thing. Backup camera as well. True fit slide right here, which what they do there is they make the slide to fit as tight as possible inside the area, and it also minimizes the components of moving the slide in and out. Minimize components, minimize stuff that'll break. Now, let's see if we can get through here. It's a little tight. Here we go. Good footwork there, man. I see you. You're dancing, I mean, you know, that's, that was some pretty good footwork there if you're not falling down. Docking station right here, a.k.a. water station. And I mentioned we're pre-wired for solar prep. Uh, you got your connection right there. Lock storage, but we'll check that out on the, on the other side. And this is also set up for the Furion side vision. What that does is if you do get that, you can view both sides when you hit the blinkers. It'll show you what's on the right for the right and left for the left. Twin 30-pound LP tanks, very nice feature. Power tongue jack with LED light. Automotive coated on this frame, too. And that's a single welded frame. That just means it's extra strong, extra extra long lasting to get your camping season extended. Here's our finished off pass through storage in there. I wanted to show you on the other side right there, but it was locked. This also has automatic leveling. Yep. Travel trailer with automatic leveling. Come on, man. Hang on. Let me do my Ian real quick. He'd be dancing at that too, because that's something you don't find and having it is just such a great feature. But if you've been looking for a chance for you and the loved one to get out and see America the safest way possible. This Keystone Cougar 22 MLS is a great option. And right now during the Ultimate RV Show, starts at $29,995 or as low as $7.18 a day. Chris, how can I get this one? We'll take care of everything. We'll even deliver it to you. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your home. Just text RV to 46642. Drop me a comment down below RV. Or if you say with over 80,000 coming, Chris, this is cool. I love the Cougars, uh, but I want to bunk. No problem. Just text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, FRESH. We're going to continue with more of those beautiful couples coaches as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour rolls on. Hey, everyone. I'm Ian Baker, and I'm joined today by my good friends Tiffany and Caleb with us, the Remingtons. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Good Sam, the Good Sam membership, uh, kind of what Good Sam's all about and some of the benefits along with it. So you guys have been Good Sam members for a few years now. Why don't you tell us just a little bit about your experience? Well, if you're anyone like Caleb, he loves his grills. So we're going in Camping <laughs> World in Ganders all the time. Um, but the savings that we get while we're in the store is incredible. We, like our last trip, we probably saved about 200 and something dollars. Wow. Which is a lot of money. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And you can buy like yourself that, a new grill with that kind of, that kind of scratch. Don't you know? give him any ideas, <laughs> Ian. <laughs> But that, and then we also save on like propane, which we go through a lot, especially winter camping now, which we didn't realize how much propane we go through Absolutely. with our heater on. Yep. Um, and we love that as well. Yeah, we've been uh, members now for three years. Okay. Soon as we got into RV, <laughs> that was the first thing we did. We learned all about Good Sam and all the benefits you get staying at different parks and yep. obviously the discounts which we absolutely love mm -hmm. um and we've done just about everything we've our we did van life we had a 36 foot motor home okay we've uh you know traveled in the c class now yep um uh, and so we just love that you can go to over 2400 parks yep. and and you get these amazing benefits and and when something has a good Sam stamp of approval on it, you know you're getting quality. And yes. so anywhere we show up, we know that, you know, things are going to be safe, clean, 
very consistent throughout the country, and that's what we love most. Yeah. Well, and one of the other things too, right, that I, I guess a lot of people don't know, you know, is, is they see good Sam, but a lot of people don't know that the Sam is actually short for Samaritan, Samaritan. right? That's kind of how it got its founding. It's all about being good and doing good. And Tiffany, Caleb, I know that's very close, very near and dear to your guys' heart. Um, why don't you tell us just a little bit, you know, kind of about the recent projects you've been working on, opportunities to be able to give back. and. Yeah, we're super excited. So we decided that we wanted to add on this like Good Samaritan part in the Ultimate RV show. So every week in every city, we're going to be doing something that's going to give back to the community that we're in. So this past weekend, um, we were in Houston and we partnered up with Turning Point, which is an amazing shelter down here. And we made 400 um, lunch sacks for those who are touched by homelessness. And it was really neat. Like their programming is so cool. They have, like, most of their staff members are um, residents themselves. So okay. they tend their organic farm, their chefs, their the cleaning and maintenance. And it was really cool to kind of see the program come to life. And they were saying, like, how because of COVID, their donations have been impacted very greatly. So they were, like, when we rolled in, especially, like, this is, like, <laughs> right? really in your face and really bad. They're, like... All the residents came out like cheering, so oh, excited, that is and they awesome. were so so pumped. Yeah. So it was amazing. We uh, we went to Costco. We spent about six hundred dollars. We filled the RV up with all the goods. We came back. We had some amazing volunteers come by, uh, who are local here in, in uh, Houston, and uh, yeah, we just put together these lunches, brought them down, and again, they were so grateful. They gave us a tour of the place and. It just, you could tell like how much this was going to help them in their community. And we are just so honored to be partnered with Good Sam and uh, Camping World and Gander RV. And, yeah. and they're actually like, yes, you guys want to start this give back program? I love Let's it. Let's do, do it. it. Yes. And we've never, like we've worked with so many brands and companies before. And it is never that easy to like pitch a community project and get an ultimate yes. Like right away. <laughs> we're like, we were yeah. so shocked. So. We're super excited. We're going to keep yeah. continuing um, doing various different uh, projects as we uh, move across the country. So, I, I yeah. absolutely love it. And, and that's that's a thing that, you know, one of the things I really wanted to talk about, you know, because a lot of people think good Sam and they think the benefits. You know, you think about how you're saving on the parks yep. and saving on the retail. And I love that aspect of it. But for me, you know, kind of like you guys, I love the ability to give back. And that's yep. what Good Sam was founded on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's probably why we have over 2 million members, right? A lot of people yep. don't know it is actually the largest RV community in the country. Wow. And, and you know, Incredible. so it's a bunch of people giving back uh, just like you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah. Folks, if you want to be part of the biggest RV community in the country, the Good Sam Club is starting at only $29 a month, which is a phenomenal price. You get to give back. And as you guys mentioned, You'll make that up in dividends in no time at all. Okay. Tiffany, Caleb, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Ian. Thanks, Ian. It's all about the couple's campers. Do you want to do that couple's getaway? We got some RVs that are perfect for you. How about one that's roughly 30 feet long, dry weight of nearly 6,200 pounds, can easily sleep five? You're looking at the East to West Alta 2600 KRB, which stands for King Rear Bath. And this Rear Bath beauty is packed full of amenities and features. Let me tell you, East to West stormed the market with the Altas a couple of years ago. They came in and instantly started winning awards left and right. Best in show, best new RV, because they knew what people wanted. They wanted quality RVs with amenities that they love from home, and manufacturing and features that you're not going to find in a lot of entry-level RVs. Now, I call these entry-level, even though they're technically a lot not entry-level. They're fiberglass. you got the Asdell backing in there, which is a laminated composite graphite that you know resists mold, so you get no bubbling and delam, plus you get no off-gassing and stuff like that. But where they're priced at, for example, this one starts at $32,273 or as low as $7.73 a day. For your chance to get out and see America the safest way possible, come on, man. You can't beat that. So we're going to start actually right here in the middle of this rear bath <laughs> beauty with the entertainment center over here on the campsite. You'll see solid wood construction, beveled edges with the textured frosted glass inlays. Love this because at night, the light really bounces off of this and almost gives you additional lighting. Got the Furion TV on the angle, allowing you to pull it out and view the TV really from wherever you want to view it from. 
And these Furion TVs are sturdy. They're built for RVs. They take a little bit more of a beating because you're traveling a lot. Got your built-in uh, FM, AM, stereo, blah, 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 soundbar, HDMI, USB, and Bluetooth. Now, this is dual zone, so you can use it both inside and out to control the music, play whatever you like. Some storage right there. And you'll notice with east to west, they put the ductwork inside the cabinetry so that you don't get soft spots in the floor. These are solid-built, well-thought-out RVs. And the way East to West does their manufacturing is really cool, too. They, they had this sustainable process where they reduce and reuse to really shrink their carbon footprint. But in doing that, it allows them to pass along a lot of savings to you, which is why you're able to get types of features that you won't get, like 15,000 BTU ACs with quick, cool dump, 81-inch high ceilings, which allows you to have more head clearance inside of slides. Now, beautiful sofa here. This... That's a leatherette. Wow, that's nice. That's extremely comfortable. I was reaching down to kind of see if I could pull it out, but that is beautiful. Comfortable, this is your reconnection spot right here. You got the cushions that come off because this is a trifold that comes out into a sleeper. But when you're talking about sitting down with that loved one that you did not get a chance to really get out and reconnect with in 2020 because it was just madness and chaos, this is where you could sit get away from everything, disconnect and reconnect. Even if you just go out to the Kentucky basketball game or you go out to the Tennessee football game to do some tailgating and you just sit in here and you watch TV and enjoy each other's company. Imagine just reconnecting right here or looking out the window at the sunrise. You got some of the largest in-class windows with wood balances there, great for light, even better for cross breeze. Then you have one of the largest in-class dinettes Easily sleep two adults on this one. That's where the five number comes from with this beauty. Because the table not only reduces down into a sleeper, but it's not attached. You can take it outside if you want to. Slide it down. Goes right there. Cushion slide out on top. And boom, move the other ones out. And you got your sleeper. Or take the table outside. You have yourself some nice outside entertainment. Over here on the campsite, you'll see our L-shaped kitchen, modified L. Beautiful residential features like a stainless steel undermounted farmhouse-style sink with the sprayer nozzle. Look at that. Sorry, Kev. I just sprayed you there a little bit. Cutting board top. I got the extender right here. So if I need extra prep space, I got it. More storage underneath. Tons of storage. I mean, look. There are so many features on this East to West Alta that I won't get a chance to get to, but we have people standing by who will help you answer questions and show you everything that they can. They'll give you a virtual walkthrough. They'll help get this unit even delivered to you. All you got to do is text RV to 46642. Drop me a comment down below RV. This one, roughly 6,200 pounds dry weight, starts at 32,273 or as low as $7.73 a day. 10 cubic foot. Magic Chef fridge freezer combo. That is a 12 volt fridge. Got the little security lock right there. Now, with this being the 2600 KRB King rear bath, we got to get to the rear bath portion, right? But first, let me show you this pantry. I'm big on RVs being versatile. So if you want something, to be a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin. You gotta have space for that type of stuff. You wanna put your fishing rod somewhere. You wanna put your bow cases or your rifle cases somewhere. Using it in the pantry is fine. Um, you know, my wife yells at me because I put backpacks and hunting stuff in the kitchen. Well, it's a kitchen, that's where the pantry stuff goes. No, it's my RV, it's your RV. You can use it for whatever you want. We even have the single touch, love this, for the awning right here on our command panel. Boom, hit retract, awning comes in, or hit extend, it goes out. Slip resistant, easy to clean, flooring in here, porcelain bowl with the foot flush. This whole rear wall is dominated by a beautiful rear bath with tons of pantry space. We got the single surround shower right here with the little mini tub combo. You even have the glass inlaid there for the skylight to give you additional headroom. But you got 81 inches of height in here, not to mention brush nickel fixtures all the way around. So, and you know, sometimes you can use showers for storage space too. Put cases in there. Why not? Imagine using this as the ladies' weekend getaway. If you got ladies that like to hunt and fish, or you got ladies who want to go on that wine tour, it's going to be fun. I'm telling you, it's going to be fun. Plenty of countertop prep space here. Large undermounted sink with the stainless steel fixtures and double, double medicine cabinets or double vanity medicine cabinets, as I like to call it. 
right there. So we could both be getting ready as we, you know, prepare to do our journey. Now, since this is a 2600 KRB, we saw the rear bath. The K part of that is the king or the king size mattress. What you have right here, intercoil spring, and check out what I got under the king size mattress. You have a little walk-in area right here with additional storage in drawers. Great for, well, I mean, really whatever you want to put in there. Plus, it's an open space. So you can put your bags, your luggage, you know, more cases, fishing rods all right there, shoes. You got double drawers on both sides as well as dual USB charging ports and power ports and drawers plus wards. You are not going to be lacking for anything. And behind over there, Kev, is little cubby size storage on both sides. Got opposing windows, frosted glass inlays, TV macker, the TV backer, the whole nine. <laughs> Look, sorry. There's so much stuff into this. It's hard to get all of the wonderful features and amenities of this East to West Alta 2600 KRB packed into the little amount of time that we have during the Ultimate RV Show here. But I wanted you to kind of just see how great the amenities are. It's not like it was 20 years ago or even 10 years ago where there was like a stigma around RV camping. Oh, I'm going to give up some creature comforts of home. Oh, I'm not going to be comfortable. It's not going to have a good kitchen. I'm not going to have a big enough shower. I'm going to be uncomfortable. Some of these are nicer than the homes that we live in now. And when you're talking about an RV built like this, 6,100 pounds, dry weight, 30 feet long, starting at 32,273 or as low as $7.73 a day. I think you owe it to yourself. You've been missing out. You've been missing out big time. To come out under your own awning with the LED light there, I got my LP Quick Connect for my gas grill if I want to bring that along with me. Got my little mini fridge because you know we are out here in, in the Kentucky area. So if I want to put my bourbon in there to get myself my three finger pour, I can boom right there and grab it. Or maybe you go fishing, you want to bring, put the fish back in there, whatever. Look, you got options, you got space, you got style, and these are well built. Got the 14 inch aluminums right there with the nitro filled tires, plus you got the extra wide berth in, this, in the uh, axles, and these are the Dexter Easy Lube axles too. Heated and enclosed underbelly with forced air heat under there. Large awning with the adjustable pitch. Love this, I mean it just looks good. We got dual zone speakers as well, sealed safety glass all the way around. Finished off pass through storage right there with the LED light. And another thing that Alta thought about, they were thinking, you know, with putting stuff away and keeping stuff inside your RV, it, it kind of stinks if you have to always lift the door. So why not give you a side opening door? Love it. Absolutely love it. Diamond plated rock guard, twin 20 pound LP tanks, molded fiberglass end cap with the running lights attached to it. Absolutely beautiful. Automotive deposition coating on here too. And, it, and these, the storage that you're looking at right here is drop frame. So this is drop frame storage, giving you almost 40 more cubic feet of storage space. Solar charger, controller, this thing is pre-wired for solar, so you don't have to worry about paying for the wiring to get those solar panels. And here's all my commands. My cable and satellite, my power, my battery disconnect, sprayer port, city water, fresh water connection, and automatic stabilizer jacks. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, baby. Push of a button, you are ready to go camping. How beautiful is that? But there are so many features and so much more that I, I wish we could get to here at the Ultimate RV Show national tour. But it's but it's tough because you have questions, you want to know things, you want to ask about this, you want to ask about that, and unfortunately, you know, I can't hear you. But that's why we have specialists standing by who can. They are ready to take your questions and ready to help you find the RV that's right for you. But if you've been looking for one, roughly 6,200 pounds, 30 feet long, this East-West Alta 2600 KRB is great for that adventurous couple that wants to get out and enjoy the creature comforts of home, and wants to take them with them without breaking the bank. You're talking about starting at 32273 or as low as $7.73 a day. Just text RV to 46642. Drop me a comment down below RV. Or if you say, Chris, I like it, but you got 80,000 factory fresh units coming. Man, I know you got one for me, but I, I need bunks. I need blah, 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 blah. Maybe I just want aluminum sided. Don't worry. 
Just text FRESH to 46642. Drop us a comment down below. FRESH or give us a call, 877-297-8725. The Ultimate RV Show is about helping you find the RV that's right for you. And with so many of our Good Sam members, over 2 million of them, packing the stores, getting ready to go camping, it's a sign that 2021 is going to be the year of RV travel. So get in on it. Ultimate RV Show is going to continue with more great RVs and some cool retail stuff next. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal of a price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99 and patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Wow, how did you love those couples getaways? I mean, like I said, we're always shopping every week with everyone I else know. out there. Those are so perfect if you're like us, a couple, and you're being a digital old man, you want to travel the country, see so much space, so versatile. I love the back um, the back bathroom on that one. It always feels like it's just so much more space when the bathroom's in the back, but. Totally. Guys, it's Tiffany and Kayla from us, the Remingtons. Welcome again to day two. So exciting, so many things coming up. Yes. We're actually gonna start transitioning into travel trailers to entertain, which is something that we love to do pre-COVID era. Yep, yep, 2019 BC, before but COVID. Hopefully soon enough, we'll be starting to entertain again. Yeah, absolutely. I think what these next models are gonna offer mm -hmm. are space for a plenty of people. Plenty of people and also space to sleep as well, because, you know, sometimes you just need a little bit of a sleepover a after a party. little little party yeah, yeah. party Up hearty. next we have the heartland fuel 287 and this thing you're going to be shocked when you see it one of the types of rvs that are often overlooked when we talk about entertaining is toy haulers and, and i understand because most people think well a garage you know i don't have any toys that i'm bringing but i'm telling you if you're looking to entertain toy haulers are one of the absolute best for several different reasons one they tend to have big open floor plans, which if you're entertaining, you have a lot, you know, you generally want a lot of people. You want a lot of seating and toy haulers are going to offer that. A lot of them, like the Fuel 287 that we're in, also has a party deck out the back. I wish I could have dropped it. Unfortunately, we're backed right up to a fence, so I'm not able to show you that. But when this drops down, you have a party deck system all the way around there, and that is more entertainment space. You can set chairs up out there. You know, I have a sofa here. I have two chairs over there. I have two bench seats here. Plus, I have that whole party deck, just a ton of space for people to sit and hang out. Plus, if you have a bunch of stuff you need to bring, you have this big garage. Be able to bring all of that with you. Or if you do have toys, you know, if you have motorcycles, quads, uh, UTVs, ATVs, you can bring all those or even a golf cart, right? That's one of them I see a lot of people that they don't want to put another trailer on the back, you know, or they can't. And so they bring a uh, they bring a golf cart right here with them and you're good to go. Now you can go cruising around the campground or wherever else, wherever else you're staying. And plus, as, and I talk about this a lot, right? Like when I go camping and I entertain, I like to have a few beverages. And I, you know, I'd like my friends to be able to partake as well. But I'm certainly not going to let them drive if they're not good to drive. So I have to make sure I have places for them to sleep. And that is another thing that the toy haulers offer. And this 287 is no exception. So with this one, you'll see you have the Happy Jack bed system. And in that system is a power lift queen bed right up top and then right down underneath these sofas will lift up too these are both roll over sofas and so you can roll both of these over and you have another queen bed on the bottom so you can comfortably sleep you know four people right back here you have two couples this one can sleep up to seven people which again is very impressive um, and, and so when these go all the way up you have a couple different options with these roll over sofas depending on what you're carrying in here right if you need the width you can roll both of these over lift both of them up as beds if you need um, if you need the height right you don't want the, the you need more height to it 
What you can do is you can lift them both up and then these sofas will drop along the sides. So it won't be quite as wide of a space, but you get more height when pulling it in. And folks, this is a 16 foot, three inch garage, over 16 foot garage here in the 287. So again, if you're talking about hauling something, you definitely have the garage size to do it. Plus this one has almost a 4,000 pound carrying capacity. So again, you're putting lots of stuff in here, you're packing it full, this one can handle it. As for the seating underneath, right? So the, I, I dropped this one down to show you. Bear in mind, you can lock the bed up top and still have the sofas where they're at. So that way, you know, you're not busting your head on this sofa or, you know, it's, it's not hard to come in and out of the party deck. You can still do so. You can just leave that, the, the bed right up top. But when I sit down here, even with the bed dropped, I still can sit here, right? So um, now I, I wouldn't, I would leave it up, but the fact you can is pretty nice. Um, and again, I can easily fit three people on each side of this. So I can fit six people here, no problem. Everyone's here playing a game, hanging out. We have two more super comfortable chairs whoop, right next to it, right over here. Both of these do recline, you know, lean back, very Euro style chair. You get two of these and these are easy to move too. If you want to, you know, move them out on the party deck, you can. You want to slide them somewhere else, you can. You want to put them a little bit closer to the wall, you can do that too. And look underneath, excuse me, a couple things with the floor. So you have linoleum flooring. You'll see D-rings right here, right? We have several sets of those running the whole distance, but this uh, carpet right here comes with it. So this is cool too, because it gives a little more residential feeling. So after you get you know, any toys you bring with you out or whatever else you had tied down, kayaks, whatever it may be, you get that out. Now you can roll this out and get a little bit more residential feel because it covers up all those D-rings. Even if you don't use this, you still have that linoleum running all the way back to the beaver tail. So um, you, know, you do get the, the easy, clean flooring essentially. And then across from those, those Euro chairs, you get another sofa. And this is a slide out right here too, folks, which is another thing that helps this space be so large and open, which again is great for entertaining space. This one, of course, folds right up against the wall when you're done. Otherwise, you have that seating space. And again, it is a rollover sofa. So this does count as another sleeping space. Bear in mind, it is not very large. So you're probably not going to get an adult there unless, unless they, you know, not only can they not drive, but they can't walk. And then maybe they don't care if it's, uh, you know, a little bit smaller bed. Uh, you get storage all the way up top. You know, nice decorative glass. Good storage space there. And then, uh, excuse me, the storage continues all the way above the kitchen into the microwave and hood. Down underneath, you have some nice countertops, you know, a little upgrade over the T-mold. Three burner cooktop with the front one being high output. Plenty of drawer space in here too. And some additional storage right over to this side. Now, the thing I love about this, when we talk about entertaining, uh, the majority of it, right, is having good space to hang out and the 287 definitely does that. You have the party deck, you have plenty of seating, but people get hungry, right? You have to feed your guests as well. And so with this kitchen, you have a ton of prep space in here. You have space for a bar if you want a bar in here. You know, you have the nice big sink, the beautiful kind of oil rub bronze high rise faucet, electric outlet over here. If you have a blender or something you need, a you know, Margaritaville machine, throw that right there and a TV right up top. So you have a, a, a 39 inch, 40 inch TV, and you have a good viewing angle no matter where you're at in the back, right? So if you want to throw something on, everyone that is in here can see it. If you want to listen to some music, you have a great JBL sound system too. I'll show you that actually right over here. Um, you know, as we talk about the TV, take a look at that. You get the big subwoofer, you have speakers, the JBL speakers in the ceiling. That unit is right here. It is Bluetooth capable. More storage all along this wall, right? While we're looking at it, you can see storage there. You get more here. So plenty of space for everything that you need to bring with you. Lots of big, bright windows here. Uh, fridge freezer will be located there. And then you have storage by the TV as well as underneath the sink. So again, this 287, uh, the, the reason I wanted it in this, in this session is because I, I feel like it, it is truly built to entertain. Well, yes, it is a toy hauler, right? And you, you have space for the toys. If that's what you want it for, it's great for it. But it also is perfect for entertaining, having people sit around and hang out. So we walk up front real quick. I do wanna show you a few other things, folks. And we can take a walk into the bathroom and a couple different things here. One, the toilet you can see is in a great spot. So, you know, if I, if I sit down here, 
you know, I have plenty of room for my legs, great shoulder space as well. As we come in a little bit further, you can see the nice big countertop in here, right? The shower, obviously I have enough room to stand up. I mean, we're in a toy hauler. You get super high ceiling heights, which is great. Plus big, really big linen closet. You can throw extra clothes and everything else in there too. As we come in a little bit further, we can see right in here, this is the bedroom. Just want to show you a couple quick things in here and then we'll take a look outside but you'll see the king size bed folks so you know now that you have the seating you have the nice big bed there so you're not elbowing each other you have the wardrobe on both sides of course the shelves you have wireless charging over here right so you can just take your phone set it right on there and it will charge your cell phone you don't have to plug it in if you want to though there is an electrical outlet or if you have a CPAP machine plus there's a spot for a TV right here so if you do want uh, to, to have a TV in the bedroom you want to watch TV before bed that's no problem you can see right there they have a uh, spot to mount that the connections for it will be right up top so again built perfectly for entertaining and then when we head outside, right, there's some great features out here too. As I said, I wish I could drop the party deck in the back, I, and I'll show you in a second how tight we are, so unfortunately we can't. As we shoot into the front storage, I wanna show you, battery disconnect is located right there. So uh, that's quick and simple. So you, what you can do, ah, there it is, that little key. So you can just flip that, and uh, that way you're not, uh, you don't have that constant drain on your battery, right? You also have power stabilizer jacks, making setup easier. You get to your campsite, you flip, a, you push that rocker switch and your jacks will drop right down, making everything nice and stable. Up top is your power awning with LED lights, a spot to mount an outside TV, right? You want TV outside, you're good to go right there. You have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, so that way you can camp a little bit later into the season. And as we make our way around the back, so as I said, unfortunately, you can see right here, right, we just didn't have the space to drop it as much as I wish that I could. Uh, we just didn't have the room. But as we come around, whoop, messing up my shoes. As we come around the other side, I just want to show you a couple uh, last quick things. One of them is right down here. That's the fuel fill station. So if you do have toys that you want to bring with you, you have the fuel right there. So you'll be good to go. <laughs> kind of like the name, right? Fuel. Um, but that way you can char or, you know, uh, fuel up your toys, whatever else you have. And then the ladder drops down so you can climb up onto that fully walkable roof. On any RV, folks, I always recommend getting up there at least once, probably twice a year for basic inspection. If you don't want to get up there on the roof yourself, I completely understand, especially on a toy hauler, right? They are tall. It can be pretty scary. That's no problem. Bring it by a Camping World. We'll be happy to get up there for you and inspect it to make sure there's not any problems and everything's on the up and up. And if there is any issues, we will certainly let you know and give you the options uh, as far as what we can do and if you want to move forward doing uh, you know, any kind of preventative maintenance or work on there. But you always want to get up there to take a look because whether it's bird poop, whether it's sticks, whether it's sap falling from pine trees, all of that can be damaging to your roof material. So you want to make sure you're taking good care of it as well as inspecting your silica cone making sure all your seals and everything are nice and tight right over on the other side here a couple quick things one of them so you have your two water connections right you have your fresh tank fill as well as the city water inlet right below that though is the black tank flush and this is a big one I really like this it's a great feature because that way you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping just hook it up right there the sprayer is built in it will wash everything right out for you makes life super simple and then another big one and this one is, you know, another reason that I love toy haulers. I have so many people that ask me about generators, right? Can I get this with a generator? Most travel trailers and honestly, most fifth wheels, the answer is no, you can't, right? They, they don't build it in. You don't have the space for it. Most toy haulers will either have prep for it or have a generator option. I'm not saying all of them, right? Some of them certainly don't but you get the fuel station, you get the generator. So this makes you self-sufficient. So if you want a party wagon built to entertain, you can take out in the middle of the woods and have all the power you want. This one comes with that Cummins Onan 4,000 watt generator and it will power everything inside. Folks, I'm telling you, this thing right here is phenomenal. If you're interested in this one or any toy hauler, any of these ones we showed you that are built to entertain, you're gonna wanna text the word FRESH to 46642 or put FRESH in the comments section below. That way we can help you navigate, find the perfect toy hauler or travel trailer or fifth wheel it is for you. And you can shop over 100,000 pieces of inventory we have in stock and coming fresh from the manufacturer. 
Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. All about the camp camping essentials here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young again with my buddy Caleb from Us Around Things that we don't know where Tiff is. But, man, camping essentials, people, once again, don't realize we have tents, sleeping bags, everything for when you're out RVing to enjoy the camping as well. Absolutely. There's so much good stuff here. Yeah. And it's really priced well. And, you know, we're on a budget. My yeah. wife... Never lets me get a lot of stuff. Yeah, she's kind of tight with that water. Hey, Johnny, hey, tight hey, water. You think you're talking behind my back? No, shit. I am queen of stuff. Look at, I already got my walking <laughs> sticks. I was hiking around Camping World this morning. Oh. I took a little snooze. Yes. Not that I was sleeping on the job or anything. Well, you know? no, 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 not at all. But I mean, you got to enjoy the comfort. Come like on, Like these baby, Airwan tents. I mean, look at this. So if you're looking for a tent, sleeping bag, you want some of the pads and some of the comfortable things that make that camping experience. Did y'all so see much my cotton enjoyable. back? No. Come let's, on. Yeah, yeah. let's go. I'll meet you over there. So let's go around. So that's another great thing when you're out camping. If you got need some additional space, you do have an RV that maybe has room for a cot. Check out these campers' choice. Wow. But look at my venture forwards right here, Kev. I'm gonna get around behind you because this also has the adjustable head oh. that can come up. These fold up, fit into a bag. You can easily slide into your storage. Absolutely beautiful. And Tiff, feel that. Oh, come on, let me feel this. Let me tell you. Caleb's being silent on this. He's the one that's bougie it's that true. needs all of his. Oh, what? Wait, that, we need to upgrade. Yeah. I think we need to upgrade. Let me tell you, you can okay. actually put that in your RV. This is my new <laughs> pregnancy <laughs> pillow. Yeah. Hello. But if you're looking for the carry along camping essentials, whether you need the backpacks with the strap or the sleeping bags with the straps, backpacks, sleeping bags, people forget the wide assortment of sleeping bags we have. Whether you're looking for something that's just going to do 50 degrees, Chris, 25 degrees, color. zero degrees. Look at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does this not look just fantastic on me? I think that's great. It matches my eyes. It, do it doubles <laughs> as a... I love it. <laughs> so, and when you're a sleeping bag, you got to pitch your hammock. Yeah. It sleep in the hammock at night. Yeah. They got tons of them. So many options. And you know, a lot of people forget that here at Camping World, we're able to get stuff that is compact enough, it's comfortable enough too, but compact enough, you got to... Maximize that space. Maximize minimize what space. you're using. Backpack in if you're going for a little day trip. Yep. Fits right tell in you. your bag. Stuff like this, these pads, the cots, the chairs, the tents, the sleeping bags. Tiff's about to fall asleep. I know. Oh, I was going to let you guys take the rest of it. I'm going to take a little snooze here. Good night, guys. I and love then, it. So many things you didn't even know you needed. Right. All here at Camping World. And then when she wakes up from her nap, uh -huh. you can get her cooking up something. Make make her a nice little snack for when she wakes up from that bacon, tough nap. Bacon, some bacon. Drain. <laughs> some bacon. After I've had my thermo rest, I'm going to hop up and get myself some bacon and eggs. I love it. I love so it. many grilling options, too. <laughs> it's so, insane. Everything you need for camping and making sure that camping is fun, exciting, affordable, mm -hmm. and compact, you're going to find a Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. When we talk about travel trailers that are built to entertain, one of them that come to mind is the 2021 Silver Lake 202KRD. And why? Well, it's pretty obvious, and the main reason is right back here. You get this rear living space where everyone is very close. It feels a lot more intimate. A lot of times when you're in an RV, 
the seating is spaced fairly apart, but right here, everyone is very engaged in the conversation. Everyone's sitting around, hanging out, have a, having a great time. And even though it's a smaller travel trailer, uh, I shouldn't say small, right? And we're still uh, almost 30 and a half feet, but you're still under 6,500 pounds, which is pretty darn impressive. Um, but you know, for, for being a slideless unit, right, you still have a lot of space back here. So if you're looking for something where you have a lot of seating, it, again, you get that intimate feeling, you want some, a little bit of extra sleeping space, the ability to sleep four to five, but you don't want you know, to deal with a the slide, then this right here is, uh, again, a great option. So as you can see, right over there is the dinette. And I love this for a couple reasons because they actually managed to put this on the camp side. Even though it's further back than we stay, uh, usually see our dinette, you still get the big window, so you still get a view out to the campsite. Plus, there's a window in the kitchen. You can see your campsite. We'll see that in a little bit. Windows in the back, windows on the side, windows all around here. So as everyone is sitting, it's just letting in all that natural light. Feels nice and bright and airy. You have, you know, even though it's a little bit darker wood, you have a bright wallboard. And if you have a gorgeous view out the back, you can certainly enjoy it in this floor plan, which is what a lot of people love in like some of like the 27 uh, like RL floor plans that are out there, where you have like the two swivel rockers in the back. People love having this back window because a lot of times the best views at a lot of campsites are right out the back. And if you don't have a window, you can't enjoy it. But something like this, you absolutely can. Uh, the dinette does absolutely drop down into a bed too. So if you need that, again, that additional sleeping space, you can drop that down, have some people sleep there, easy to set up. There's an electrical outlet there too if you need to plug anything in. Uh, you know, it, it's like a leatherette that they have on both the backrest and on the bottom. I like the two-tone look. It, it breaks it up so it doesn't look plain, but it's also kind of simple and modern, right? It's not overly done. I don't have like a like a paisley pattern or anything on there. And I like that. I like the, I like the just kind of a simple modern. Um, and, and like I said, plus it is easy to clean up. So if you have kids, grandkids, anything like that, they spill ice cream, you know, you can just wipe that up uh, very easily. And then right here, of course, is our sofa. And it's, it's very comfortable. It's a jackknife style sofa. So, you know, it just lifts up drops down just like that but what i want to show you is all of the storage that you get underneath you can see that right there a ton of storage which is fantastic uh nice and easy to access you have this panel right here that just pops off if you want to uh, get to it without lifting up the sofa but that of course folds down into a bed again to create additional sleeping space and once again you will see an electrical outlet as well as usb port so if you want to sit here charge a cell phone laptop whatever uh, you have that uh, available for you Storage across the top, LED lights. That also helps, of course, in keeping things nice and bright in here. Ducted AC system. This one also has a quick dump, and this is in a perfect location for it because, as I mentioned, chances are in this RV, this is where you'll be spending you know, 90% of your time if you're in here. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say that because you probably sleep 30% of the time you're in here. But anyway, um, you know, the majority of the time you're awake, you'll be right back here. So having the quick dump back here is fantastic because that way, you know, if it's a hot day, you can open it up, cools everyone off sitting right back here. You're hanging out, having a good time. I do love that option. Now, if it's a little bit later, maybe it's just the two of you, you know, everyone uh, went back to their campers, you know, it's after the campfire. Maybe you just want to watch a movie, rain it out, want to kick back and relax right up here is where your TV will be. So this is cool because even if you're sitting in the dinette, you still have a view to it. Probably not the most comfortable view ever, but you can still see it. And anyone sitting on the couch definitely has a great shot to it. The connections are right up top. You can see the, the AV cables hanging there. Uh, you know, I didn't want to do some cable management there when you plug them in, just kind of, uh, you know, tie them up, zip tie them behind the TV, something like that, so they're not hanging. Uh, but that connects to this multimedia center right there. And that does have an HDMI port on there. So if you, you know, have like a Blu-ray player or something like that, you want to hook up, you can pop that right into that HDMI. Um, you know, it's, it's AV, it's not HDMI coming through, so you probably won't get HD quality. But maybe if it's a standard DVD player, you will be good to go. Um, another cool thing too, and you know, this is a, again, personal preference, right? But I, I've done this in this floor plan before. Uh, I'm not going to do it now because I have shoes on, but if you take your shoes off, it's just the two of you, both people get foot rests, right? You can put your feet right up here and it's a very comfortable seat while you're watching TV. It's not very often, especially in, uh, you know, like mid-size or smaller travel trailers to have like recliners or ways to put your feet up, but in this specific layout, you can do it. So it is very comfortable to be able to sit here and watch that. 
Um, when we move in a little bit further, we start to get into the kitchen space. And one of the big things we've seen a lot of manufacturers do is go to something like this, which is a 12 volt refrigerator. So this is the Magic Chef. And as you can see, it is on even though we don't have shore power. So, and the, the reason for that, right, is because it's not running off 120 like a residential refrigerator. Uh, it's running off 12 volt. So you still get the quick cooling that you get with residential, but it gives you the ability to do a little more boondocking because you're running off batteries. Now, what I tell people is if, if that is your plan, if you plan on, you know, going out for extended periods of time where you don't have shore power or a generator, what you'll want to do is have two uh, batteries on your coach as well as solar so that way it will trickle charge and keep recharging that battery to make sure you're not draining a single battery down but it does give you that ability and it, again the advantage that gives you the benefits of that residential with the nice quick cooling it doesn't take all night to cool like your propane electric refrigerators do over to the side of that is pantry so great pantry space right in there you can see, you know, any uh, food items you have, you have plenty of room, even a cereal box, right? A lot of times that can be a problem in a lot of RV storage. You don't have a spot in travel trailers for larger items like cereal boxes. And here you have plenty. The rest of the kitchen, microwave up top, a little bit of storage there for your plates, cups, bowls, whatever else. Right down underneath is the upgraded countertop. You will see that it is not T-mold. It is a thermoform or thermofoil style countertop, which means you can undermount this stainless steel bowl, which if you've seen any of my videos, you know is a huge deal to me because it makes it so much easier to clean everything up. Nice high rise faucet there as well. This is a beautiful faucet, especially at this price point, folks. This trailer for this show, you can pick this one up starting at $23,275, which is as little as $5.75 a day. If you're interested, all you have to do is text the word RV to 46642 or put the word RV in the comment section below. You also see it has a three burner cooktop, right? It's not a two burner, it's that full three burner, the front one being high output, oven underneath. Not one, not two, but three drawers in the kitchen. And you will see here, it's even a big drawer on the top, right? They made it so it's underneath the sink. They put a little blank in there so they didn't have to shorten up your drawer. So big drawers all the way through for flatware, whatever else you wanna put in there. And then you have plenty of storage there for pots and pans. Bathroom over to the sides. Check this out real quick. I'll take a seat here. Six foot tall, 210 pounds. I have plenty of leg room. Great shoulder space here. Big countertop plus a big sink. And I'm a big fan of having a large sink in the bathroom because, you know, as you're washing your hands here, if it's a small sink, it's splattering everywhere. It's making a mess. With a big sink like this, you don't have that. You know, if you're brushing your teeth and you're spitting, it's not getting all over your countertop. Just keeps things a lot cleaner. And then, as, again, countertop space, so you have space to set all those items. Mirrored medicine cabinet right there for the shower itself six foot tall i can completely stand up in here i don't have to duck down you know you could probably be with this skylight maybe six two and still be able to fully stand in here you have the built-in shower door you know it's uh it's kind of like a like a vinyl mesh almost cool thing about that is that it is uh essentially mold proof so well i can't say proof uh, it's mold resistant right uh, what i mean by that is you can if it's wet you can just have it roll right back in and it's not going to mold which is uh, absolutely fantastic. Making our way completely to the front is the bed, and this is really where Silver Lake start to kind of stand apart from the rest because it's a king size bed in a Silver Lake is standard. So huge bed here, which I love. LED lights up top, storage across the top, wardrobes on the side, USB ports, electric outlets, everything you need, and right here on this wall. If you want a TV in the bedroom, you still have the ability to put one right there. So that way you can watch a show before you go to bed. But even as we come outside, right? Like, you know, the, the nice features don't just stop there. As we come outside, you will see the upgraded steps right here. You have the Moride Step Above Step System. Fantastic, it's aluminum treads on there, so it's not going to rust. Folds up into the door. You get the bigger grab handle, which you're going to want, because again, uh, you know, the stairs come out a little further. So from right here, you have good control going all the way in. And as I said, folks, I'm 210 pounds. I can hop up and down these stairs, and they don't flex. Big power awning with an LED light strip on there. You know, just touch a button, roll it out. Same thing to go back in. Plus, you have the light in case you want that at night. For entertainment outside, 
You have speakers, so if you want to you know, listen to some music, you have the capability to do that. One speaker to there, another one up front. If you want to watch TV, you can do that too. Cable outlet, electric outlet, just set up a little table out here, pop it right on there, and you are good to go. Let's say you want to do some cooking outside. I don't blame you. I do too. I love grilling when I camp. It's one of my favorite things, right? You know, being outside, just uh, flipping some burgers, flipping some meat, you know, steaks, throw them on there. You'll see right down here, that's uh, your propane quick connect. So uh, with that, you know, you can bring any grill you want, a griddle, plug it in right there, and you are good to go. And if you haven't used a griddle, I highly recommend it. Uh, we have a Blackstone and a Razor in our retail store, and I'm telling you, it will change your life when it comes to cooking. You can cook amazing breakfast on there with pancakes and eggs and bacon. You can do lunch on there with like sandwiches. You know, you can, uh, you can grill up like a nice grilled cheese, and then, you know, at night you wanna do like a, like a stir fry or some meat. I'm telling you, you can, those things are so darn versatile. I absolutely love it when I cook. Another thing I wanna talk about, you have um, the, the fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly on here. So that way, you know, it, it's kind of tough to see, but you can see it a little bit kind of right there. You can see a little bit of insulation. So what that does for you, of course, is it helps keep things a little bit warmer. So that way, you know, it'll help prevent your tanks and lines and stuff from freezing up on you while you're traveling. And folks, again, this is just one of several different Silver Lakes available. This floor plan too is not unique to Silver Lake. If you like this floor plan, but maybe you don't like something about the trailer, you know, or maybe, you know, the Silver Lakes are, they're not entry level, you know, definitely a step up. Maybe you want something that's a little more budget friendly, we have RVs available that will meet those needs. We have over 20,000 RVs on the lot, over 80,000 that are on order. And so again, we will have something. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 or drop FRESH in the comment section below. That will allow us to help you navigate and find the perfect RV for you and your needs. Because folks, this is the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Sean Park, great to be back with my good friend, Rachel. And we have another ultimate giveaway. Oh, and what are we giving away, by the way, Rachel? We are giving away a $100 merchandise certificate. Here's the greatest thing about the $100 merchandise gift card. And whether it's $100 or $50, you can come into one of our retail stores at Gander RV and Outdoor or Camping World location and go, you know what? That hundred dollars is probably going to be worth about two or three hundred with the sales that we have constantly going on, the big discounts, and of course, let's not forget the Good Sam discount that you always get, right? Oh, absolutely! You've got to be a member of Good Sam to get the goods. If you want to be registered for any of our giveaways, and by the way, over the next several weeks, think about this: we're giving away RVs just about every week, and over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of giveaways, and we're not messing around. We're giving away lots of vehicles, and right now. This amazing individual has a brand new gift card for $100. I'm so excited. So we have $100 to Bill Calderera. Bill Calderera, he, he did it. He registered. Yep. He texted URVS, Ultimate RV Show, to 46642. He got registered. You can too. And Ian now, very busy today. He's jumping into our uh, East to West series. These are the RVs built to entertain, and let's put Ian back to work right now. When we talk about travel trailers that are built to entertain, this layout right here has to be among some of the top. It's a layout that we've seen for many years in the fifth wheel side, but it wasn't until about three, maybe four years ago or so that they started to bring it into the travel trailer side. And honestly, I am very glad they did because it is truly an awesome layout. What they've done is you get dual opposing slides, which really opens up this main living area and the kitchen, and that also allows for a kitchen island. And I don't know about you that are watching this at home, but for me, I use my kitchen island at home a ton. And so I love the fact that they're able to put one in an RV as well. Um, and so the reason this is so good for entertaining is because you have a lot of seating all the way around. And so, you know, whether you're sitting here having conversation in the dinette, 
in the recliners, back on the sofa. Everyone can be involved in the conversation. Even if you know you're watching TV or just having a, or, you know, just talking, or if you're in here preparing a meal or you know getting a snack ready, maybe making some drinks. Everyone is involved in this main section. It's a very open concept, right? We see that a lot in the residential side, kind of the open floor plan, and that is exactly what you have here in the East to West Silver Lake 29K2S. Now folks, this one is about 30, just over 36 foot long, coming in a little under 8,200 pounds dry, has the capability to sleep up to five people. Uh, you essentially have two up front, two on the sofa, one here in the dinette. We'll get to that in just a moment. Another thing I do like about this one is the fact it has a 60 gallon gray tank, as well as a 45 gallon fresh tank. So if you plan on doing a little bit more boondocking where you don't have water hookups, you know, you have a little bit bigger than normal tank. A lot of times you'll have 30 gallon, uh, 30 gallons all the way through. So, you know, you get uh, like 50% more holding capacity for your fresh and then double your holding capacity on the gray, which is great. Let's take a look at the uh, campside slide right here. We'll start off with the dinette. Now, I really like the, the color patterns that they've chose here. It's very simplistic, but it breaks it up a little. It's still nice and light. That's one of the things I really like about the, the 2021 Silver Lakes is they really brighten things up. Looks wonderful. You have easy access storage. You can see that right here. We'll pull that out. Take a look at that. Right, super simple and easy to get to. The table drops down into that uh, that fifth uh, that fifth sleeping spot, so you can have a person sleep there. Plus, you will have the um, uh, electrical outlet underneath. Sorry, I blanked for a second. Uh, you'll have an electrical outlet down there, so if you need to plug anything in, you have the capability to do that too. Windows all the way around, you can see that. Plus, you have a USB port right here by the dinette. Um, and you know what? And I apologize. This is a very deep dinette. I bet you, you can probably get two people sleeping here. So, I mean, take a look at this, right? If I'm sitting here, I have plenty of room for another person sitting as well. Um, I really like that because there are different sizes of dinettes, right? They're not all built the same. And for me, you can see I have plenty of room to the table, which can, you know, sometimes be an issue, as well as I have plenty of space for my legs to the bottom of the table. Because I've had that be an issue too, where the table is like sitting on top of my legs and there's nothing comfortable about that. But right here, I have a lot of room, plenty of space for another person. You can sit here, you can play a game. And with this layout, you still get the campsite dinette. Because as I always say, that's the view I want right there. I want to look out at my campsite, not out at my neighbors. I'm sitting here having my morning coffee, right there is what I want to see. A couple LED lights up top really help brighten up this space at night. Plus, as I mentioned, you have windows all the way around to let in that natural light during the day. Now, moving to the side, right, and this is where some floor plans kind of differ. So sometimes here, uh, these rear living floor plans will have theater seating. This one happens to have two separate recliners. And, you know, it just kind of pops up just like that. If you want to lean back, you can. You have to pull it away from the wall a little bit to do so, but both of them have the capability to do it. And it's comfortable and straight across from the TV. And then across the back is the jackknife sofa. So again, you want to talk about excellent conversation space. You can have people here, people here in the dinette. I mean, you can easily have what? Uh, you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people all just sitting. You know, you have nine uh, places for people to actually sit. And that's not including, right, the, the all too common, at least for me, is sitting right here enjoying a glass of wine or an old fashioned sitting here talking uh, at the bar top, right? My, <laughs> my wife, Nicole, uh, if you ever meet her, you can ask her. And one of the things that just drives her nuts is that I uh, stand a lot when I eat. I don't know why. I just, I like to stand when I eat. I do the same thing when I drink. You know, I'll be talking to people, having a conversation. I just like to stand up. And so for me, this is like home base, right? So I can sit here and I can talk to everyone all the way around. And look how big this island is. I mean, you know, on both sides, you have a ton of prep space, which I love. It is the upgraded countertop too. You know, it allows you to undermount that stainless steel sink. It gives you that high rise faucet. You have storage, you know, right here underneath for pots, pans, everything else you need. Yeah, I'll open it up for you. Take, take a peek in there, right? So plenty of space for your pots and pans there. And uh, it's, it, like I say, it's just very functional, both for entertaining as well as for preparing food, which is exactly what it is built to do. On both sides of the couch, I should probably mention there are uh, end tables. So, you know, again, if you want to have a beverage or something, set it down, you can. Plus there's storage underneath both of them, and that's nice deep storage. And then you have electrical outlets, USB ports, windows, and more storage going across the top. Now, if you want to watch a show, 
you get the TV here. Um, you know, I, this one for me, it's, it's a little <laughs> underwhelming for the size. Uh, there are other manufacturers out there that have a similar floor plan that put a little bit bigger TV in. Uh, and that's something, of course, you can always change out if you want something bigger. But the thing that they did do, because it is a little bit smaller, is they really gave you more storage, right? So you get the storage up top here, as well as this storage all the way through here. So, you know, they, they do get some really good pantry storage. Um, but, you know, that, again, the, the TV for me, if, you know, if, if I'm having this as entertainment space, I might want something a little bit bigger. And, and here's the great thing. You know, we do have other manufacturers that put in bigger TVs or slightly, you know, different arrangements, you know, have theater seating across from the TV. And if that's something you're interested in, all you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 and our specialists will help walk you through that and show you some of those other floor plans, some of those other manufacturers to see maybe if that's what you want. Now, there's definitely a lot about the east to west, especially this 29 K2S that I absolutely love and starting with the interior colors. And as you can see, it is nice and bright and you get the upgraded countertops. You know, when we go outside, you'll see you get the upgraded steps and fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Uh, you have the, the powder uh, coated deposition uh, automotive style frame. Like they do a lot of things in here that, that really from the build quality to the design and aesthetic that definitely make it worth it. But you know, again, that's something that we're able to help you out with. All you have to do is use that keyword fresh and we'll be there to help guide you through. Underneath that TV, folks, is also a fireplace. Now, this is one of those things that often get overlooked. People are like, okay, Ian, that's overkill. Why do I want a fireplace? Well, because not only does this look great, but more importantly, that's a space heater, folks. And if you're plugged in, you have shore power, that means that's free heat, right? Because you don't have to use your propane. Now, is it going to heat up the entire camper? No, of course not, right? It doesn't have the BTUs to do it. But will it do a good job in this main living room? Yeah, it'll, it'll raise it a few degrees, you know? And, and you, I don't know about you at home, uh, but growing up, I, I love my parents to death, but like 67, 68 degrees, right? That's where we had it at winter, and it was a little cold, and I'd have to wear a sweatshirt. If I can use this fireplace and bump it you know, back up 2 degrees to 70, maybe 3 degrees to 71, that's all I need, and I'm super comfortable sitting inside here. So it really does a great job. I really personally love having a fireplace. You notice microwave up top, more storage, big countertop space here, electrical outlet, uh, your storage underneath, as well as a bank of three drawers, so plenty of drawer space, three burner cooktop with an oven, 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator, which I absolutely love because it cools down nice and quick like a residential one. You have a travel lock here. Uh, and you know, if you have two batteries and solar, you can basically run that nearly indefinitely because that solar will trickle charge it and you have those two batteries for plenty of power. And if that other pantry wasn't enough space for you, look at that. I mean, you have space for, you know, they're tall enough. You can fit in big uh, cold cereal boxes. You can put you know, uh, if you want a bar, right? You can put a little bar space in there. You have plenty of room for bottles. That is a big, big storage space. I love having that there. Little extra here, and it will also show, this one has the Shaw flooring, and I love the color choice they've done. It's got a little bit wider tile look to it. It's a beautiful gray, and uh, kind of getting that, that grayish look is what I like to call it, right? Where you start to blend the grays and the browns, the beiges, uh, kind of get that grayish, and I think that East to West has absolutely nailed it. Taking a quick step into the bathroom, I want to show you a couple things here. One, you do have a motion sensor light, so as soon as you step in, it turns on. Just makes things very effective, so you don't have to try to find a switch in the middle of the night if you have to get up and use the bathroom. Big linen closet here, as well as a large shower. Folks, I'll step in here. You can see, I mean, I'm six foot tall. I could be 6'2", maybe 6'3", not have to worry about ducking down, and I can spin side to side and still have plenty of space. So if you want to, you know, if you're looking for something, if that's important to you to have a big shower, because not all RVs do, right? It's another big selling point for me for the, for the uh, Silver Lake, uh, especially this floor plan, is that it has that big shower. And then when we come into the bedroom, again, another big selling point. East to West, as a standard, has a king size bed, so you're not elbowing each other in the middle of the night. You have storage on both sides. You have your own little drawer space. You have cubby holes behind it, plus USB ports there. So if you need to plug anything in, you can. You have a spot to hook up a TV right here, and you have additional wardrobe space over to the side. So. You know, if you want to talk about a comfortable bedroom, this is a comfortable bedroom space. That big bed makes it very comfortable. You can watch a show. You have plenty of storage. And then, again, you know, there's a lot to love in this, in this Silver Lake, folks. You know, you have the big storage tanks. You have the king-size bed. You have the big shower. You have the beautiful layout. An excellent 
one for entertaining. Again, this is Silver Lake 29K2S. If you're interested in this one, this one is starting at $28,415 or as little as $7.02 a month. Folks, that makes this unit very affordable. If we take a quick look at the front here, I do just want to show you a couple great features. I talked about having the solar, right? If you plan on running that, that fridge, right here you go. It is already prepped. All you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and you are good to go. The pass-through is completely finished off. It gives it a very clean look. It also makes it so if you have items that are a little bit taller, they're not gonna rub up on rafters, right? They'll slide in and out nice and easily. And of course, you have lights in there. Those lights are motion sensor, just like we had in the bathroom. A Couple other quick features I wanna hit on. Of course, you get the power on and with LED lights, you have speakers there. In case you want to listen to music, hook up for TV, the more ride step above steps, fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. Folks, I'm telling you, this thing is loaded and it's at a phenomenal price. If you love this Silver Lake 29K2S, you're like, Ian, this is the one for me. Then you're going to want to text the word RV to 46642 or drop RV in that comment section below. That will lock in your show pricing. And as I said, folks, this one right here is starting as little as $7.02 a day. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Rachel, Nate, the Johnson, Sean Parr, so great to be with you. And uh, as our travel tra travel trailer section continues, we got some great things to talk about. As a matter of fact, we're going into one of our favorite segments. We had a great face-off yesterday. Face-off? Wait until you see the face-off that we have going on coming up in just a few moments. What have you got for us? Uh, well, of course, we're going to do the Rockwood, the Mini Light versus the, uh, the Nobo or the No Boundaries, if you prefer. Huh. I, I actually prefer Nobo. I yeah. mean, for a face-off, sounds more superhero-ish. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this, Rachel, when you say, you know what? You got the face-off. What does that actually mean to the yeah. folks at home? We know exactly <laughs> what that means. We're going toe-to-toe, wheel-to-wheel, and we're going to compare some of the vehicles that you have asked us to actually take an inside look at. There you I'm go. going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. To -toe. <laughs> the Rockwood Mini Light. One. Yeah, be a hard one. you guys travel in the fifth wheel. Yes, you know all about the class A's. These are the travel trailers. They're obviously a little light, as we like to say. Get in and go with all the amenities. You know what? And that's really why I do like these smaller travel trailers, these smaller towables, because when we travel, we see so many people that have difficulty getting in and out of spaces. Maybe they're not as experienced as what they're going to be soon. These are easy to get in any space. You're not going to have any type of size restrictions with these type of units. Even your dog can drive them. Uh, our right. dog does drive it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love this fact. This is almost like one of those uh, situations where I want to do the big announcer voice as we get ready to blow the whistle. And ladies and gentlemen, live from the RV Show National Tour, it's time for the face-off. Please welcome the Rockwood Mini Light taking on the Nobo. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young. Got my buddy Colton from our Bowling Green location here. Colton, what's going on, bud? How are we doing today, Chris? Nice to meet you, Happy bro. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you know, since we have over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, and you guys do a lot with both the No Boundary and the Rockwood Mini Light, we decided to add into the Ultimate RV Show these face-offs. Perfect. Where it's, you know, a lot of people are on the fence between both like models because, let's face it, they are similar. 
Very but much there so. are some little things that separate the two that might make somebody go one way or the other. Absolutely. So that's really what the face-off is all about. It's about helping you decide, okay, look, I need something that's lightweight. I need something that can be towed by possibly an SUV. But depending on what you're going to do with it, how many people you need to sleep and where you're going to take it, that's really going to kind of push you over the fence as far as do I go with the Rockwood Mini Light? Do I go with the Forest River No Boundaries? Both of them are great options. But, Colton, what to you is the biggest difference when you talk to people about why they should go with one over the other? Now, Chris, like you said, they're both great units. The biggest difference, though, is the Mini Light is going to be very much more of a residential comfort. Right. On the No Boundaries, however, if you're the off-roads man, if you yeah. like to go hunting, if you like to go fishing, anything like that, then you want to go with the No Boundaries. This has a higher suspension. Right. You have mud tires that can go on any trail, any, right. anything like that. Got that 13-inch clearance. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, also, it's a slimmer body. So on the Mini Light, it's a true eight-foot wide camper. Okay. On the Nobo, it's going to go down to uh, 85, 86 inches, right. somewhere in right. that ballpark. Mm -hmm. So that way you can kind of get into those tighter spaces right when on. you're going off-road. So as I like to say sometimes, class versus grass. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Absolutely. You know, a little bit like that. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to hop into the Mini Lights first because Rockwood, and you're right, they with the Mini Lights, they took so many features of... What, I mean, so, sometimes even high-end fifth wheels. Absolutely. And they crammed them into travel trailers. Let's start right out here uh, on the outside. Now, okay. obviously, both of them are going to be beautiful fiberglass RVs. You got the Asdale backing on both mm -hmm. of them, which is, you know, a, a graphite uh, polypropylene laminated composite. No mold, no mildew, no off-gassing, so you don't have to worry about that with Correct. either one. Um, but, dude, Mini Light, I, right away, I see it looks good going down the road. Mm -hmm. I see it looks good set up at the campsite. What else can you tell me about the Mini Light? So like what you said on the fifth wheel components that they've kind of added into this, mm -hmm. this big pass-through storage is one of my favorite things, especially on this particular unit. That is huge. If you have kids and they're being loud, just throw them in there. <laughs> uh, you also have grills and table setups for this rack right here. Right. Now, usually on an outdoor kitchen, that's going to take away a lot of space on the inside of the camper. It's going to take away storage, sleeping, things of that nature. Now, if you throw this table right here on this uh, bracket you don't have to worry about uh, losing anything inside yeah you got your sturdy because you know we're in the area you know especially here in Kentucky only place we can get true bourbon um, I like to have my three-finger pour when I'm outside and I got to have a place to put it that's right so you know movable adjustable so if you want to set up tables and chairs you got a good option for that Absolutely. the other thing that I like that Forest River has done is they've added this uh, modified mount. Yes. So you got the paw mount. You mm -hmm. got a TV inside. You don't have to have a TV outside. You can just take the bracket and bam, pop it in right there. Yeah, universal bracket. Mount. All my connections. And ooh, nitro filled tires? Correct. Yes, sir. Right on. Yes, sir. I see we got the tire pressure monitoring system on those. The Dexter Easy Lube axles, aluminum rims, so we're not going to get any rust, any Nothing of that stuff like on that. there. That's beautiful. Now, do these have uh, heated and enclosed underbellies? They do. Okay. Uh, That's beautiful. Also, they have Goodyear Endurance tires. That's one of the best tires on the market for yeah. your camper. Uh, that usually comes, again, on your fifth wheels and things like yeah. that. It's very hard to find that on a travel trailer. That's a very nice feature because that's one of the things people don't really think about is, you know, the tires on my RV. Absolutely. When you sit, if you don't have good tire covers and this, that, and the other thing, you know, those can go bad on your heartbeat, and that's a bad day if it goes bad on you going that's down exactly the road. That's exactly right. So... But uh, this, we got the infinity glass, as I like to call it. Absolutely. It looks so much sleeker, doesn't it? It does. It really looks Now, they're, they're still sealed and tinted and safety glass there. But, you know, this just looks so much more refined. And they're a little bit more durable, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. They, they enclose all your heat and air a little bit better than the frame windows right. do. We got the adjustable pitch awning right here. Uh, go around the back. Let's see what we got. Okay. Got the backup camera. Um, now... Help me out, because with 80,000 RVs coming, mm -hmm. I sometimes get a little confused. Um, plus, I mean, you, you see me. I'm, I ain't the brightest light on the Christmas tree. It's kind of, <laughs> you know, it, it kind of comes with the territory. Do these come with solar panels, or are they solar prepped? So on the Rockwood Mini Light, this only comes prepped. Okay. Uh, on the Nobo, that we comes with the we panel. do usually okay. order those with the solar panel on yeah. it. And you get a, was it 900 watts? No, no, 190 watt. Yes. Yeah, you get a 190 watt solar panel on the Nobo. So, okay, so there's there's one there's comparison contrast yeah. right there. Spare tire mounted. We got uh, external shower, which I know a lot of the units have. Yes. External connections. There's my 30 amp. 30 amp. 
um, my terminations, boom. Okay, well this is beautiful. Other side of the pass-through storage over here, my scissor jack. And the thing that I like, uh, what they did here, Forest River's been doing this a whole lot more, is the oh, side yeah. opening storage door. Yes. I really like that. Yep. Okay. All right, so let's go into this beauty. Oh, twin 30-pound tanks. That's right. Okay. And Most RVs. Jack. Yeah, electronic, yeah, power jack. Now, a lot of RVs come with just 20-pound LP tanks. Correct. So seeing that, that's a that's a nice little that's push. That's a nice touch, yeah. yes, sir. It's a nice little push. So, Rockwood Mini Light. Now, the one that we're walking in here is the 2205S. And right away, I see a beautiful solid surface kitchen and some tremendously upgraded features. Absolutely. So in a lot of units, especially this size, you're going to get a Murphy bed. Right. Uh, in this one, your bed is stable. You don't have to worry about putting it up, putting it, taking it back down, everything yeah. along those lines. And with it being stable like that, it, it just works a lot smoother. That's a big hit. We got barrel ceilings. Uh, looks like a 15K uh, BTU yes. Coleman yep. Mach AC with the quick cool dump. Love that because when you come back from hunting, fishing, hiking, biking, whatever, you know, maybe going to go into Mammoth Cave, you, that, that's a long walk. Come back hot, boom, open it up. Yep. Get, get, some, get some nice air. Now, during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, <clears throat> with the face-offs, what we're doing is we're trying to show you the differences between some light units. This unit right here, the 2205S, the Rockwood Mini Light, um, all, all the units, all 80,000 units that we have coming with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour will have special pricing on them during the weeks. Absolutely. And with all those units that are coming, did you know that people can actually come in and reserve it even if it's not here yet? I did not know that. That's a great tool for them. Right? They can come in and see. So if they see a 2205S, maybe they say, oh, I need one with bunks. I need one, you know, hey, do you got anything that's more than 25 feet? Mm -hmm. We have those options. You can go ahead and reserve it. But for example, this 2205S, if I were to say, all right, Colton, what's the price on this bad boy? What would you say? Uh, probably 38. 38 seems about right. That is, you're exactly right. But guess what it is during the Ultimate RV Show? What's that? Twenty nine nine ninety five. Wow. Or as low as seven bucks and seventeen cents a day. That's awesome. That's for a place to, to to have a. Where can you get a hotel room for one night for seven dollars and seventeen cents? That's right. <laughs> to go on vacation when you got this beautiful microfiber couch. You got the hideaway storage back there. I think this is the mm -hmm. fold down arm as well. It is. Yep. Sure is. USB I got my USB ports port. and one ten volt and the recliners are electric. Oh man. Look at that. Well, we got it hooked up to a, to a battery, battery pack. Packs, yeah. yeah, so we don't have the, the 110 going. The other thing I like about these, the fold down doors, mm -hmm. as opposed to Just the lifting up. Load yeah, up yep. you don't really have to have the strut supported when you have that, but they're the, they're the, you know, the strong clothes. I like right. that. Residential features, uh, beautiful flooring. Everything in here bed. is very modern. All the yeah. all the wood is going to be very modern, very tempered wood look. That everything is going to nowadays the farmhouse look. For right. Sure. So this is what you're talking about outside. With they pack some more of that upgraded features. It's, Absolutely. Both of them are classy campers. Yep. Don't get me wrong, but this has more of that residential feel and appeal. I wouldn't want to take this just completely off road. Absolutely. Completely. Tell me a little bit about the entertainment center and the kitchen area, man. This is beautiful. So with the uh, with the entertainment center, you have your TV here. It's going to swivel whichever way you want. If you want to watch in the bed or if you want to watch it on your theater scene right yeah. here. Uh, the surround sound here, uh, you're going to be able to play DVDs, anything like that, straight from your radio up into your TV. All beautiful. you're going to have to do is put the input Yeah, in. direct connect. It's dual zone, too. Yes, so yes it is. Yeah, play it outside. Uh, HDMI ports, if you want to hook up a DVD player, anything like that to mm -hmm. it. Uh, fireplace. This is one of my favorite features in any camper out there. Again, one of those things that you get mostly in a fifth Yeah, camp. yeah, yeah. Uh, in this size camper... You don't see you that, need, man. Yeah, yeah, all you need is <laughs> you that electric fireplace to warm you up. You don't yeah. have to run your propane on no. the furnace at all. You're looking at like about 5,000, 5,200 BTUs on that bad boy. Multiple flame settings, multi-light yep. settings. And that little blower right there will knock the chill off the air. That's right. And with the insulation that you have in here, because... Uh, a lot of times with the fiberglass RVs, you get foam core insulation. Mm -hmm. And with the Asdale backing, that's another layer of insulation that really helps keep the temperature, you know, where you're at. And Those aluminum-sided are, you know, they have the blown insulation, yep. the R7s. But uh, this one, it's going to be good keeping you where you want it. I do have a sample of the Asdale roof right here. Oh, right on. Uh, actually, the Nobo rep, uh, Nathan Dudek, gave it to me. Yeah, a little Nate. Uh, yep. Uh, great guy. <laughs> 
this it doesn't it doesn't have any delamination anything right. like that which is your biggest worry typically in a mm -hmm. fiberglass camper yeah so that's just going to help you preserve your unit even right. longer. Right. Let me see. So yeah. So there's there's a graphite composite. Yep. And there's a fiberglass composite. And as you can see, it's not that thick, but water resistant, mildew resistant, no mm -hmm. off gassing on these. And this little joker right here, not only is it solid, it's lightweight. That's right. Makes it a lighter camper. This one here, for example, is only five thousand pounds dry. That's exactly right. That's a, that's I could tow that with my little. I I got a little Nissan Frontier Pro Four. Mm -hmm. That's Love right. that thing, man. A little get around town truck. Perfect. I could tow this thing with that. Easily, easy. easily. And you had mentioned the bed. The one thing I like that they've done for 2021, we got the storage right there, strut supported, mm -hmm. but we also have drawers on the bottom. That's right. So if you don't want to get up out of the bed, oh, shoot, I left my CPAP machine underneath mm -hmm. when we were moving, you can actually just pull out the drawers, access the storage without having to lift the bed up, makes That's your right. wife get out, make your loved one get out. That's right. That kind of sucks. 110, 12 volt, dual USB, fireplace, and this is a, oh dude, look at the paneling on this. Yep, that's one thing I love about the fridge in these. So they yeah. kind of, they match the rest of the cabinetry with the front of that fridge. It just kind of lays easier on your eyes. Yeah, and they've upgraded the fridges this year too. A lot of them are coming with those 10 cubic 10 foot. 10 cubic foot, yep. yeah. We yep. went from like six, seven to all of a sudden, bam, we yeah. got 10. 10, yep. Uh, the other tip of the hat to Forest River with the Rockwoods. Uh, inside the shower, now this is a Neo Angle shower with the glass enclosure. You got the shower miser system. That helps really, when, when you're wasting water taking a shower, that little joker right there will help save you. And if you really want to go dry dock somewhere, that's where you lose most of your waters in the shower. That's exactly right. So, beautiful finished off bathroom. Porcelain toilet. Right. That way it's just. A lot of your uh, aluminum sided campers aren't going to come with that. It's going to hold the stench. It's going to hold stains, everything yeah. like that. So this is really, if you want that upgraded camping experience, you want the creature comforts of home, but something lightweight and small, Rockwood Mini Light is where you want to go. Absolutely. Now, That's right. if, if you are talking about, we want to go off-road, we want something that, okay, we're out here, look, we're doing Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Mississippi. That's the area we're covering right now. That's right. Some of the most beautiful countryside you're going to find in the U.S. I mean, have you ever driven the pigtail down in Arkansas? I have not been to Arkansas, no, Man, sir. it is beautiful. But if you just go down there and go off-road to go boondock, you need something that's going to handle that boondocking. Absolutely. That's where the Nobo comes in. That's right. Right away, same thing. You got fiberglass. You got beautiful... Uh, light graphics, a light camper, lightweight as well, but reinforced and sturdy. So, for example, the Forest River Nobos have some of the best ground clearance you're going to find in yeah. RVs today. That's so, right. Some of them over 13 inches. Now, this is the 19.3, So, and I'm glad we got this one because with this one being double axle, you'll see we got the rugged 4x4 tires, but the suspension is independent. That's right. I love that That's because right. if, you're going, if you're really going off-road, yeah, if you're going to giddy up, we're getting the races. That's right. You know, you, you got to have all legs moving at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's, you, aren't, you aren't hardly going to feel this back here, especially if you're in that backwoods area. It's not going to vibrate your truck and rock you back and forth as right. often as it should. And since it is Forest River, because uh, Forest River makes both Rockwood Mini Light and they make the Nobo, um, you're going to get those aluminum rims. Now, these are the blackout rims. I like right. that because it just looks a little bit more That's rugged. That's right. That's right. But it's still not going to rust. Nitro filled tires, pressure monitoring system. Large awning with the LED light. Uh, I'm going to get to this in a minute, but hang on. You tell them a little bit about the outside. I'm going to show them the scare light when you get done. So very similar thing outside. Asdell roof, it's going to keep you from delamination, everything like that, just like on the mini light. Just this is a little bit thinner, a little bit easier to take off-road. Now, a lot of the Nobos um, will come with the LED light strip at, right. the, at the end of the awning. Yes. And the scare light has both the LED flood and the scare, the That's orange scare. I really like that feature because if you do need a little additional light outside, maybe you want to just hang out, boom, you got the floodlight right there. Solid steps with the step overs coming in, spray port. Uh, but my favorite part about this one, since this is a bunk model, um, if you're camping with the kids or you're camping with the dogs or you're just hunting cabin, fishing cabin, mm -hmm. these Nobos to me make the great option for somebody who's an avid hunter or avid fisher that's exactly right. Because of the insulation, because of how rugged they are. Mm -hmm. uh, but the options that you have, not only for living inside, but for doing the activities outside. Absolutely. This is my storage spot right here. So if I want to put my hunting cases, bikes, 
whatever, dogs treats, Absolutely. Whatever, you know, 19 bottles of Blanton's, <laughs> just That's lined right. it up right there. That's right. Bada bing, but by the way, what was it my boy told me? He had a little 750 for for 100 bucks. But we need to talk to Blanton's about bringing that price down <laughs> like we do with these RVs at the Ultimate RV Show, man. That's, that's a little crazy. But the action doggy door for the bunk models are usually on the off-camp side. That's exactly right. It's usually not on your passenger side. Yeah. Yep. Having this here gives you more options. So, love it. But these are bunks on the inside, accessible here and there. And as you can see, we got the USB charging ports there. We got the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattress, which are plush and comfortable. Um, just overall functional, fun, good little rugged campers. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Especially in this area, this is this is kind of what you want to do if you're that outdoorsman kind of guy. Right. This well, is what you want to stick with. So that's right. if you're going to wear heels, Rockwood Mini Light. That's right. If you're going to wear some Justins, no boundaries. That's right. I dig it. Not that I'm classifying. I forgot. My, I had some ostrich skins I was going to rock for while we were down here in you know, Kentucky, Tennessee. I forgot to bring them. Well, I'll bring those so, for you tomorrow. I love it. I love it. Got some llamas, baby. But they even put the ruggedness on the back with the 4x4 tire there, mm -hmm. the diamond plate rock guard on the back. You still get the solid ladder, 500-pound walkable roof, uh, mm -hmm. which is, this one's PVC. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It so PVC streaks and everything like that. Yeah, and PVC a little bit tougher than what we have on the Mini Light? A little bit tougher, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to have to flex a little bit because you're going on these back roads. You want it right. to flex a little bit more than what that Mini Light's going to do for okay. you. Okay, so this one will take a little bit of a road beating better yeah. than the Mini Light. 100%. Yeah. Um, backup camera prep got my led lights back there now this one's slideless so uh, we won't really you know be able to see the slide here Correct. but black tank flush which to me is an option i think you gotta have yeah absolutely <laughs> on absolutely that, on any rv <laughs> yeah you don't want that going on anywhere and having it over here near my terminations got my 30 amp plug 30. right there cable galley tanks oh my, my pass-through storage Yep, absolutely. Now, a little bit smaller than what you're going to get on the mini lights because absolutely. I think the mini lights added almost a drop frame yes, storage they did. in there. Yeah. Yes, they did. And they don't want to do that on the Nobos to kind of give, Keep that take away that clearance. ground clearance. Yeah. And you also still have that under bunk storage, even though you right. don't have the big pass through here, you can still use that back there. Love it. But it's finished off. You can see it's we still got the light, and there's the welded aluminum frame. Mm -hmm. You can see that in there, right? So you get the which makes this sturdy, durable, but yeah. also lightweight. And again, those boxes are gonna be that table and that grill set up just like on the mini light. Right on. We got one 20 pound LP tank. I would like to see doubles, which I know service folks can help us add. Correct. But when you're gonna true go off, go off road and dock, I'd like to see at least a couple. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. For bunks. Um, that's the only knock I think I'd give right now. So let's check out the inside. Now this is the 19.3, which is a bunk model and Beautiful interior, light, rugged, but still solid surface. I got my Suburban two-burner cooktop over here with the glass cover. Got the 18-inch undermount or the 18-inch stainless steel bowl. I like how they added some of the residential features like the high-rise faucets. Absolutely. Um, and what they did for 2021 with the furniture was they have this kind of composite material. Absolutely. Water resistant, stain resistant pet resistant that's right so it's good for the pets um because they know if you're going to go outdoors you're probably going to bring the family friends absolutely. with you if you're hunting you got to have your hunting dog with yeah you. absolutely because i can't catch anything unless somebody points it out for me that's I mean, right that's, <laughs> that's why we have pointers in virginia um but i like how we got both the jackknife sofa the bunks and the murphy bed option which absolutely. is an easy fit um, you still have your dinette over here too yeah. That's, that's going to be your table for eating yeah. or sleeping if you have some extra people with you. So for slideless, this one sleeps seven. Yes. We're still cruising at 4,200 pounds dry weight. Easy. Easy, Easy. tow. What would you say this one would be price-wise? Uh, I'm going to say 34. Spot on, man. Supposed to look at you, man. You've been studying up. I love it. I've been doing this a yeah. while. Colton, uh, yeah, that's the other great thing. Some of our folks we have at Camp Road, again, RV and Outdoors, just like Colton, great to work with and they know the products so at over 150 locations you're going to find great folks like colton that'll help you find the one that's right for you but you're wrong about the price okay. that would probably be what a competitor would sell it to right. you for and that would be a good deal that'd be a great deal absolutely for a chance to get out and see america the safest way possible and something like this a bunk model sleep seven people but during the ultimate rv show this beauty right here the 2021 forest river nobo 19.3 27995 or as low wow. as $6.90 a day. Wow. Less than 7 bucks a day, That's man. That's awesome.
Absolutely. Seven bucks a day. When I got a TV that is 12 volt, which is a very nice feature, especially when you're talking about going out and boondocking, um, still got the decorative wood balances. I got those bunks back there. I got the 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. Mm -hmm. Solid door over here on my bathroom. I mean, check this out. 300 pound capacity on these bunks. Love it. With no slide. Now, that might be a little tight for you. A little bit. A little bit. It's a little tight for me, but I'm still not cramped. You got to, it's better than just going outside, though. You got to oh, be a little absolutely. rugged in the no boat, you know? Absolutely. Well, you know, you know, wherever we go hunting, my wife wants to go. Yeah. So, and it's, uh, it, what, what I've told her, because there used to be a stigma around RVs. People had this thought that, oh, it's not going to be nice inside. We're going to lose a bunch of amenities from home. It's not going to be comfortable absolutely. to do what we want to do. That might have been the case even five years ago. Absolutely. But the manufacturers have come so far with developing ways to make it comfortable, to make it livable and enjoyable that, I, dude, some of these are nicer than apartments. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that I, we get. I agree. Because you get tons of storage, lightweight, tons of features. But as you can tell, even with the amenities and features that we have in this one, it's still a little bit more of a rugged Kind of, kind of, kind of rugged feel. And for this one, the nineteen point three starting at twenty seven nine ninety five, as low as six dollars and ninety cents a day. Kev, we could handle this one. Now, something that the Nobo does have that the Rockwood Mini Light does not mm -hmm. is going to be this awesome intervac system down here. Yes, you can sweep your dirt, mud, whatever have you right yeah. here. You're going to flip that up, and it's going to suck it in. I love it. Also, you're going to have another intervac set up right there where you're going to have a hose and attachments that's going to run the length of this camera. That's how you're going to clean this thing out after a day of hiking, yeah. hunting, biking, whatever have you. Yeah, because when you're outdoors and you bring all that nasty stuff in, you got to have an easy way to clean it up. So very nice touch for something that's going to be rugged and outside. So, Colton, um, great job. Thank Fantastic you. job. I appreciate it. So if you had to say, once again, the top difference between... The Rockwood Mini Light and the Forest River Nobos, what would it be? It's still going to be your off-road capabilities between the two. Mini Light's going to be much more residential, very much more comfortable if you're going to go to a campsite or something along those lines. If you're going to go deep in the backwoods, have a good time, have a good weekend, this is Nobo it. all the way. Nobo all the way. And there you have it. Another face-off of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour with one of our great folks, as you're going to find at over one of 150 locations between Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. And look, with over 80,000 factory fresh units coming, if you say, Chris, Colton, I love those no-bows, but I don't need bunks, I need blah, 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 blah. But hey, I love that mini light, but I want one with bunks. Guess what? You're going to have the option to find something that you want. But either way, you're not going to have any issues if you get a Nobo or a Mini Light. They're both going to serve you well and, more importantly, give you a chance to go see America the safest way possible in an RV. It's all about the campsite essentials here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young, my buddy Caleb from us, the Remingtons. Uh, I guess uh, Tiff is somewhere. We'll, yeah, we'll I was uh, kind of had my eye on a couple coolers over here. Yeah, which and, are oh. campsite essentials. Uh, oh, and there she is. Just, Just chilling. Just chilling. chilling out. <laughs> I had to test the depth and the width, and let me thing. tell you, I'm pregnant, so I got the hips, yeah. and I'm, you can fit a good chunk of stuff that with That is a large cooler. See, and that's the great thing about Campsite Essentials, coolers being a big part of it. There we go. Here I am. <laughs> right. This is the there chest ball, gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> These permachills are great, not only because of the insulation, the sturdiness, but you got freezer grade. Uh, yeah. Seals on this how and long, how long the does rubber this latches. Keep everything cold. Oh my gosh. These will go Weeks. for 12 days. Wow. Easily. And you're talking about it's great with for the. Boondocking. Yeah, absolutely yeah. great for boondocking. Well, and that's just it. Coolers to me are campsite essential, which is why if you go to Camping World, Gander, RV, and Outdoors, you'll notice that we have so many more coolers. They seem to be multiplying like rabbits inside the store. <laughs> From Coleman's, would have the extreme technology, to the Pelicans, to the Permachills, to some of my favorites. The uh, Permachill soft sides. Oh, I love those. These are great, and there's a size, and there's a size and a cooler mm -hmm. for pretty much every journey you want to go on: hunting, fishing, just regular camping. We got the roller coolers. I like the rollers. Man, growing up, the only cooler that we had was like the foam coolers. Yeah, that was about yeah. It. And you know, yeah. we have the replaceable coolers, but now they're biodegradable cardboard. Oh, oh, do the that. same thing, you know, because we worry about the environment. Right. But it's it's all about making sure when you do go out, when you're sitting at the campsite, that everything you need essentially to we enjoy your trip. These igloos, we really like them. Yeah. Oh, and if you notice. Cold too. Look at they the got the drain cap. Yep. I know, that's so and smart. And it, I don't know if you also noticed, 
the lie stick. <laughs> In case you get a big bass. That's right. Look, you can measure that baby right up. Last week I caught that that 18 inch. But no, it was like right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, it, it grows every time. Yeah. But we even it. have so like these right here, the Z's. I like these, the sub Z's, because they have the foam tops used as cushions. Wow. But for every thought size, of everything, look at that. Yeah. But it's so versatile. It's All of these different coolers. Yes, they could be for some specific outing, but it right. can also be used for going to the beach or yeah. again going for a nice short camping trip or long So many different trip. sizes and options. We even have like the little playmates. But if you want a cooler that's got a chair, why not get one of the cool venture forward chairs? Yeah. Which you can only find at Camp Horn and Gander. We have almost doubled no the amount of chairs that we have. People say we want more chairs, we want more options. So you got the patriotic bag chairs, you got the regular sport wow. chairs. Sorry, Kevin. Then no, my favorite. Now that is a trust. This is a trust. Kind that of. is a trust fall right there. Go okay. ahead, Ready? Go ahead and get in that. But these rockers, these Rio rockers. Ooh. Are ready to oh, roll. okay. Gentlemen, take it away. I'll be here. <laughs> so when you're ready Zen. to make that campsite essentially comfortable, be sure to take a look <laughs> at the chair selection swing. we have at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Don't forget your cooler. Don't forget your chairs because they are campsite essentials. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Every chef knows that travel and food go hand in hand. If you want to try new recipes, find the best restaurants, and discover amazing cuisines, then make Camping World the first stop on your culinary adventure. If you can make it in a kitchen, on a grill, or over a fire, then you can make it anywhere with your RV. Take your kitchen on the road with Camping World. Sean Parr, and of course, I've got Tiffany here from Us the Remington. Hello, hello. This is the amazing Rachel. That's how she has me introduce her every time we walk anywhere. <laughs> I like that. And of course, my good pal and new best friend, Nate, who is the craziest, most incredibly funny. <laughs> no. Uh, I just, I'm upset that she didn't call me the amazing Nate. That sounds better. <laughs> We're still looking for uh, the, amazing the adjective, part? The adjective to few. describe. <laughs> you know, I, I, what I love the most about our influencer interviews and a chance to bring on some special guests as we go on the road with our national tour is we have a lot of folks with us here on the tour that live the lifestyle. We've talked about us, the Remingtons. We've talked about the Jurgies. And, of course, uh, Rachel, you and Nate, you guys uh, take the dogs out and you do the doggy blog and tell us all about it. Yeah, we've been writing a dog blog for Brickle and Digby since 2011. Um, and so we really we live our lives for our dogs. We, we love them. But they also, you were telling me last night that you have not missed a single day of blogging. And I look at her and I'm like, oh, it, what? How? That's incredible. And, well, you know, we feel like people count on us for positivity. And even though we focus a lot on animal rescue, we want it to be fun. We want there to be a fun side of rescuing animals. And we just want to show what a great life you can have. And that's your positivity as in... Pause. <laughs> you got that? See what you did there? I, I did. also love the fact, though, that when you do your blog, you incorporate all the, the shelters that you guys visit as you go across the country, and not just the animals that are at those shelters, but explain about the people that are at those shelters that you get everybody involved with. You know, it, it's so important to recognize the people behind animal rescue. You know, we always see the animals, and of course, that's the most important part but there are people working tirelessly 
to help these animals. These are good people. You hear so many bad stories about how people treat animals. Well, there's good stories too. There's these people at these shelters, at these animal rescues that are working hard, and it's so important that we support them as much as possible. When I say we, all of us, because it's a very important issue. Absolutely, and, and I know that Nate and I were talking a little bit beforehand too, and I was just commenting how sweet Brickle is, and you're just like, you know, it's so crazy. Tell me a little bit when you first met both, you know, both the dogs and, and how your compassion just grew for them. And again, shelter dogs, it is a little bit more difficult to make that connection, I think. And, and I don't know if it's just based off of intimidation or anything, but I just can't imagine any other two dogs to travel with than these two. Yeah, I mean, I think in a way they pick us sometimes, you know, we we go into the shelter or a rescue or we see their face online and sure. they just like, oh, that's my dog. Because I feel yeah. like they pick us and we feel like it's our responsibility to give them the best life possible because I mean, they give us so much. <laughs> Yeah, and you know when you talk about Brickle, Brickle was a dog that even though he was young, he had been there the longest. No one was even coming to look at him because he could be a little bit intimidating. And and really that was why, you know, I chose him to go down there. And when you walk into the shelter and you see a beautiful dog like Brickle and he completely ignores you and didn't even care that I was there, I was like, you know what? That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. <laughs> but you know what's interesting about both of you, Nate, Rachel? When you decided to do this full time, I mean, you had your dogs with you. How long have you been on the road? Tell, tell people what made you decide that, you know what, we're going to take an RV. You started into Class A. Now you're in the fifth wheel. Uh, I want to get into why you decided to switch in a moment. But how long have you been on the road? You've been doing this for quite a while. Yeah, we've been doing this full time for almost five years. And uh, we had a house, and we loved our house. Um, but when we reached a million fans on social media, we're like, you know, we've got to do something good with the platforms that we have. It's our responsibility to use the platforms for something good. And so we decided to use the money we made from our house, buy an RV, and we decided to hit um, the lower 48 uh, states with Brickle and Digby. Our goal was to do it in a year, but we wanted to visit, visit 48 rescues and shelters too. Um, and we, we did it about a year and a half. About a year and a half. And I wish we'd have taken some of that money to buy me some longer pants. I just realized. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you see these ankles? No, that is, yeah, that is yeah, trendy. Yeah. Those are muscular ankles. <laughs> I'm just telling you. But no. when you started in the Class A, mm -hmm. how did you get the Class A ready to go with the dogs full time? Well, here's what we did. So we rented a place um, to, to live at for a few months. And then we pulled the Class A into the driveway. And each day, we would take Brickle and Digby into the Class A to get them used to it. They could get some treats. They could just hang out, do whatever they wanted to do. We didn't keep them in any specific amount of time. We wanted them to be comfortable with it. And so you kind of ease into it. Sometimes dogs can kind of get a little bit nervous when you just shove them into a situation. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like actually, bringing them here to dogs. Camping World like we did today. You know they get a little <laughs> bit nervous. But then as the day goes on, they're more calm. And that's what you want to do when you're bringing a dog into a new environment. Ease them into it. Do it at their own pace. And every dog is different, you know? So we have to respect that and be like, well, my dog doesn't like slippery floors or my dog has a problem with this. And just kind of make it a, a fun experience for them to be in the RV. And if there's sure. something that doesn't work for them, like slippery floors, put floor runners down, you know? Just make it comfortable for them. Yeah. It's like dog led weaning. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It, they let them choose the path and let them choose the time. And, and I think yeah. that's really great. I mean, when we were traveling with Oso, we kind of, we threw him in it. <laughs> and, right. and, but he, there was, we noticed that he was a little bit anxious because it was a new environment. There were so many windows and Oso is a squirrel hunter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Has he caught one? We're not going to talk no. about it. But, you know, with all of these windows, he didn't know how to handle, he was almost yeah. overstimulated. So I wish we kind of took the approach that you guys are saying and introduced him a little bit like step by step. Yeah. And I mean, we didn't do everything right at the right. beginning. There's a lot of things that I, I did. Wish <laughs> There's a lot of things I would do differently now. Um, you know, letting them pick their own space in the RV. Um, mm. You know, we had a dinette in the motorhome, but 
we turned that into a couch for Digby and that was his space, you know? So it's it's just about making them feel like that's their home, even if you don't live in it full Which time. Which is why you guys decided to go, and, and I find this fascinating when you told me the story, Nate, that when I asked you why you went from a Class A diesel pusher to a fifth wheel, I'm, I'm gonna let you say the answer because I found it just fascinating and I have so much respect for you for doing it this way. Well, I'm glad you found it fascinating. I, I found <laughs> it uh, pretty much terrifying most of the time <laughs> because it, for Brickle, he, he, we found that as the years went by, he didn't really like having his home move while he was in it. And of course the class A, you know, you, you pull the jacks up and you go and where he was once sleeping, now, you know, you see the open road and he would get very, very nervous. As he got older, it was more and more. And so, you know, he went from, he was laying down to begin with, now he's up right next to me. And now as the years have went by, now he's actually trying to get in my lap and Not drive safe. the RV. <laughs> you know, he's, he's nervous, he wants out. We saw it and it was unfortunate because we, we loved the Class A, but sure. for him, he was getting, you know, where it was just not palatable. And so we had to make a move to a towable where it's something more where now he's got a car. He goes fun places in the car and his home to him never moves. Yeah, just comes right with us. Right. I think that kind of makes sense because when we transitioned into our Class C, um, it is a little bit smaller and also can see a little bit more where the Class A, he... He, again, he's a little bit lower to the ground, so he was really nervous. He didn't like to sit in the back where in our class A he did. Um, so we had to make like a little doggy bed between mm -hmm. our seats because he started doing exactly what your dogs are doing and try to climb into Caleb's lap while he was driving. And you know, like, oh. it can be it can be terrifying for him and it can be terrifying for the driver, as yeah. I can uh, <laughs> attest to, when you have a 75 pound dog in your lap yes. and you're trying to, you know, let a semi pass you. but. As you mentioned about Oso, it's like every dog is different. Some are mm -hmm. going to prefer the Class A's. Mm -hmm. Some are going to prefer being in a car or a truck with a towable. It's really up to your dog's personality. And that's why Camping World has so many options. You know, it, there's just like every dog's different. You know, every rig's different. So exactly. there's one that's yeah. going to work. I don't like that everybody's always using that word rig. I, I, uh, rig. I know, rig. Rig. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I love the fact that we call this segment Pets or Family because your pets, obviously, I, you, they are our family. And I, uh, we've all known that. Every, anybody that's ever had a dog or a cat or an animal around your house, they become part of your family. You care for them like a person. They obviously are. So you want to treat them that way. But what about when you're traveling? And I, and I want to ask for people that are maybe watching and have their their pets and they want to take them on the road maybe full time or even you know part time but they can't find those you know dog friendly or you know pet friendly places was that an issue in the beginning well, yeah yeah i mean we we learned as we went that some places had breed restrictions uh some places had weight limits wow. uh some wow. places had the number of pets that you could have and even certain state parks we would go to, one area of the campground would be fine for dogs, but then just a street over wouldn't be. So I think the key thing is there's plenty of places out there to go with sure. your dog. Just do the research ahead of time so that you're not disappointed when you get there. There's nothing like getting there and the dogs are so excited and then you're like, oh, we can't stay here, you know? That's not fun. So just do your research. And I think it's important as well to not only do your research online, but also contact the place that you're going, whether it be an attraction, a campground, or whatever the case. There's plenty of them out there, as we mentioned. Make sure, though, you do your research because sometimes these type of guidelines change. And it's also important, if you do have a pet, make sure you clean up after your pet. You do everything that you should do because that's what makes more places open up to sure. be pet exactly. friendly, yeah. be responsible for your pet. I like to, when we get to a campground, um, I always, whether it's a state park, a national park, a private park, I like to ask them, is there anywhere that my dogs are not allowed to go? Oh, well, that's good. So that I come across as respectful because I do want to be respectful, but also I don't want to ruin it for anyone else sure. if I take them somewhere they're not supposed to be. Yeah. Well, Tiffany, you and Caleb, dealing with uh, Oso, you mm -hmm. have the same issues sometimes. 
We do. And I, I think because Oso is a little bit smaller, I don't yeah. know if that's just a little bit more manageable. Yeah. Um, but Oso has also not left Caleb's side, more so Caleb than me, since we've gotten him. So they're like... They're like peanut butter and jelly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're inseparable. Is it lunchtime yet? Yeah, Is it dinner time yet? But, Is it breakfast? Um, but yeah, no, those are really great. I love the fact about asking ahead of time, like, where are the places not to go? Because it does show a sign of respect that you're taking um, authority and you're also just... Again, being respectful for the yeah, whole thing. Totally. And sometimes it's for their safety, too. You know, in Florida, you have mm -hmm. the alligators. Yes. And, and different mm -hmm. places, you know, there's different wildlife that were there before us. So, yeah. You know, well, that's Let's talk safety. about that. Because <laughs> you guys, I know because of your blogs, because and a million, well, well over a million followers. Now, where are we, by the way, as far as followers? I really don't know. I have, I have so no idea. It's, it's way, way, way up there. Care in, 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 for us, I will stress that y these are not followers for us. They're friends. These are friends of Brickle and I love that. Because that's what they are. First of all, we're nothing. Uh, you know, you, well, you're a little bit more than I am. But maybe, <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, we're nothing, but the dogs are great. And the fact that people care for our dogs and care for their own dogs, it means a lot to us. They are truly friends. And that's yeah. why we wanted to do this segment, because we really want to emphasize that, yes, Pets are your family. You guys hike with your pets. You take yep. them everywhere you go. Uh, I'm sure there are folks watching that, that take their dogs hiking. We want to know if there's any wild animals or anything you've come across while you've been out on the trails. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, a they couple. They come in the RV. They come in the RV, you know. <laughs> a couple of brontosauruses and things like that. I don't know if that's. Are they still around? I'm not sure. No, yeah, the, it does happen. And you're going to have to be careful. It's important to always have control of your dog on these trails. So easy sometimes if something says, you know, have your pet on a leash, to say, well, there's no one out here, I'm gonna let him off the leash. Look, you're in the wild. There's yeah. animals out there that could harm your pet or your pet could harm them. And yeah, we always encounter, you know, whether it be deer or foxes, coyotes, uh, bears. We recently were camping at a campground Digby started howling at about two o'clock in the morning, and I look outside and there's a bear. And uh, thankfully, Rachel had left the door open, <laughs> yeah. and the bear. She's comes just up very to the invitational. <laughs> She's very hospitable, I you know. Come on in, bear. Come on in. Which chair fits you? And it was like so. The bear, because of Digby, did not come in. But I will tell you what he did. He took. Our camping chair. Oh. Which we need a new one. Which we need a new one. Think we're here. And <laughs> he took it and, and carried it off into the woods and carried off her backpack. No. We got a piece of the chair back, but the backpack uh, wait, is still missing. So is if anybody out there sees a bear with a backpack, <laughs> please hide your stuff. He's a thief. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it does happen. To answer okay. your question, it does happen. You just, you have to be aware of your surroundings. Just be aware of your surroundings all the time. I'm going to do a little 180 here because <laughs> I know we're talking about bears and alligators and actually more alligators. Oh, my. Because when we mm -hmm. were down in Florida, Oso, we forgot about the alligators, actually. And so he was taking some sips in the lake water and mm -hmm. he got a he got a really bad tummy ache. Um, we actually had to take him to urgent care just to make sure everything was good. But yeah. long story short. He has a very finicky stomach. I know that on your blog you have some recipes that you're that we're actually going to probably be dying Yay. to try out <laughs> because yeah, we haven't found anything that's really made Oso's stomach pretty settled. Yeah, Tell us a little you know, bit more about that. I started cooking for the dogs um, and making their food when Brickle was having all types of issues with his stomach and that was over 10 years ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so they've been doing great and we like to make a lot of recipes actually that we can share because we always say, you know, people say to us, I don't cook for myself, so why am I gonna cook for my dog? Well, if you can cook for your for both of you at the same yeah. time and just make some different alterations. So we have a lot of recipes for that. Um, I just think that it adds to the whole camping experience too. Sure does. Um, there's recipes we do around the campfire. Um, there's a big football game coming up. We're gonna that. do appetizers and appaltizers <laughs> for that. You know, just including your dog in meal times. They're they're our pack. They're part of our our family, and, and pack animals like to eat together. And so now do you find yourself <laughs> all eating at the same time, and it, it really becomes that family time. <laughs> yeah, family dinner time. <laughs> this is they, eat. Bell. <laughs> they eat. They eat way. 
before <laughs> us. <laughs> you know, hours before yeah. us. You've heard of the early bird special. That's an early canine special. Isn't it? They, they, they eat at like 4.30 so. in the, the afternoon. I mean, it's a I, senior buffet. It's a senior buffet. That's right. <laughs> but no, I mean, they eat at a couple of different times because we do give them a little yeah. bit of our food they later on breakfast. at night and stuff like that. But we are always out there with them while they eat. Yeah. And, you know, it, it is kind of a, a, a group experience. Well, let's talk about this for just a moment because this is really important if you're going to have a pet on the road. When you have to leave them, how do you make them comfortable while they wait for mom and dad to get back home while you guys are maybe going out to dinner or off in the Jeep? I think I have separation anxiety <laughs> more than they do. After all these I'm like, years. I'm like counting down. That, okay, we, we left. We can leave the them for this amount of time, and that's it. But, no, I mean, there is a lot of things you have to take into consideration, safety-wise especially, mm -hmm. because you may not know the campground. What if they have an electrical outage, and it's the middle of summer, and you've left them there? Um, so we like, you know, the temperature monitors are always a good idea. Yeah. Um, and just making sure, you know, food and water and everything like that. But it is, I mean, you do have to, to make sure that they're going to be safe if you leave them at all. Know your pet's limitations being by themselves. And again, that's constantly changing. As our dogs have gotten older, they can be by themselves a lot less, actually. They, they want to be with us. And you don't want to have a pet, you know, barking constantly in the campground. It doesn't bother me. I love it. I go to sleep <laughs> by it. But for other people, it's it's a problem. Yeah. So, and you don't want to ever have your pet uh, uncomfortable. No. So, you know what? You don't need to sometimes go to that restaurant with that's not pet friendly. And again, that goes to taking them with you when you can. But when you can't, again, know their limitations, be respectful of them and their comfort. Yeah, and you know something that Caleb and I did with Oso and just other um, dogs in the in the community where we're camping is we exchange numbers, and I'm sure you've guys oh, done this as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. We watch one another's dogs. Yeah. So yeah. I've done that too. Exactly <laughs> during the summer, the yeah. AC part is like the scariest part. So we always would go in and the tr in the tr in our neighbor's trailer mm -hmm. if they gave us a key or they left it unlocked, um, and we would just check on ever so often. And then we'd also walk their dogs, too. That yeah. cat bit you yeah. that time, I think, that you walked in that <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did. Cat, well, yeah, got me. That's yeah. a great thing about being out and being part of the RV community, <laughs> especially mm. when you guys do it full time, because you meet, and I'm glad you said that your, your followers are not your followers, they're your family and your friends. Yep. Uh, you meet all of these amazing people at the campgrounds. And I uh, thank you for saying that, Tiffany, because there's a lot of folks that probably do the same thing where they do exchange numbers. And, hey, oh, yeah. we're yeah. stepping out for a little while. We're not going to be gone too long, but just want to give you guys a heads up so that they c you can reciprocate when they want to go out. Right, exactly. And I'll tell you, we don't really leave them that often. <laughs> no, we, we actually find ourselves helping others out a lot yeah, more. So yeah. if we're in the campground that you're in, and, you know, you want to go out for an evening we out on the town. And, you know, come on by and Two we'll just let dogs. your dogs out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We <laughs> started a whole new service here. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. You know, doggy sitter <laughs> service while you're on the road. Well, remember, you can contact me at Sean Parr. <laughs> No, that's not my name. Really. <laughs> There's a reason we travel with our dogs, though. We don't want to leave them at home. Yeah, and right. And so, you know, find out what dog-friendly hikes are nearby. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do go out, make sure they're tired out first. You know, give them, give them some fun before you leave them, you know, for, sure. for a little bit. So they're Speaking calm. of which, how do you keep your fifth wheel, you know, tidy and cleaned up with two <laughs> dogs all the time. You see the dog hair? <laughs> yeah, she, she looks <laughs> like she has a coat aesthetics. of fur. <laughs> no, well, you know, it's constant. Well, and and constant, I'll just tell you, yeah. it, it is constant. Because if you let it go, it's going to compound. And now you're going to be frustrated. And when you're frustrated with your pet, your pet senses that. They know that, you know, they're the ones that left fur all over the couch. And unless it's, you they know, from care. Rachel, they left fur all over the couch. But, you know, it, it, it's important to just stay on top of it. So we vacuum twice a day. Uh, we do laundry constantly, uh, whether it be, you know, at the campground or the fifth wheel, thankfully has um, a laundry hookup inside. That's great. So Ooh. you just want to stay on top of it, clean constantly as you go, and it won't build up. And we wash their paws every time they come in and out just um, for contaminants. If they accidentally 
mixed up in a chemical or, or whatever, you know, you're, you're at places you're not familiar with. So we always, you know, wash their paws before they come inside. And then she washes mine and we go <laughs> in and we're all clean. I need to take that tip because Oso runs in and he's on our pillows. Yeah. He's sitting on everything that yeah. our face and everything touches. We need to do a we have lot wipes, better. Right. On unsanitizing. Wipes, we have wipes. wipes right by the door, and I like to have like weather bags there. <laughs> so summer, you know, you have different things you have to deal with. Winter, so it's like everything's right there. Yeah. So it's right by the door. And one of the things, just getting a, a chance to know over the last several days, uh, Nate and Rachel. Rachel, I know you carry this all the time. <laughs> you always have a lint brush with you yeah. all the time. Well, she didn't use it. <laughs> oh, Maybe, Maybe I did. It. Maybe you I did. used it. She offered it to me oh. before, so. <laughs> I love that, though. You constantly have that with I you. do. I think that every uh, person that has a dog probably should have a lint brush with them at all times. That's true. I love it. Every time I went to go pet the dog, you know, it was like you were you were coming by with the lint brush. <laughs> It's out of habit, I'm sure. She knows. She knows. <laughs> I have a question, though. So now, as you guys transitioned into the fifth wheel, how, like, what are some of the pros that you've seen from the Class A now living into yeah. the fifth wheel? More room, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, it feels more like a house. It feels more... I, I don't know. I feel fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is fancy. <laughs> you know, we, Look at me now. The Class A's are, are great. I loved our Class A. There was nothing better than the convenience of just pulling the jacks up and going. Yeah. So it's going to take us a little bit, you know, longer to set up and to, to get going. But y you know what? For us, actually, the, the fifth wheel uh, has more positives uh, than negatives, and so we're just we're just happy. Bigger and I do fridge. Like the fire. What's that? Bigger fridge. Bigger fridge. Yeah, especially oh for all the recipes that you're cooking up. Oh and my also gosh. Pantry space and yeah. storage, which is it's amazing. Is Kitchen is like that is key. To me. There's a lot of places to put your wine. <laughs> a lot of places to put your wine. I love that. As a matter of fact, now what we're gonna do is before we let you guys go, and you're gonna walk us through an amazing Montana fifth wheel here in a moment. But uh, tell folks how they can follow you and your doggy blog and your adventures as we go across the country. Go ahead. You can find us at uh, twotravelingdogs.com. That's the number two. So there's a blog every weekday. Um, and on all social, um, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Two Traveling Dogs, and also our podcast, the Two Traveling Dogs podcast. And you can find me here at the Camping World Break Room <laughs> trying to take some of the free popcorn. <laughs> But that's, that's only for a limited time. <laughs> now, what we're going to do, <laughs> I told you that Nate, and when you get a chance to follow them, you'll see the love that uh, Rachel puts into this blog every single day. But the comedy is, he's got to be your comedy relief all the time, Rachel. Yeah, Seriously. He's got to do something. She has so not he's... laughed at a joke of mine in 27 years. <laughs> the last time she laughed was when she said, I do. Oh. <laughs> and I'm faking it. You're faking it now. That's true. That's well, true. look, it's time to jump into it. We're going to do a 2021 Keystone, Montana. And you guys are going to do a walkthrough with Chris. We're going to take a look at this, the high country uh, vehicle, which is amazing. The 38. Uh, or the 385BR, this vehicle, wait until you see, you talk about room. I can't wait to see you guys walk through and take us on a tour, and you're going to enjoy that with Chris. want to thank you guys for coming up, Rachel. Thank you, guys. Nate, thank, thank you so you. much thank for you being with us. Pets are family here at Camping World. On the road or at the campground, full-time or just for the weekend getaway, they're part of the family, which means no one gets left behind. At Camping World, RV travel means taking all of your best friends on new adventures, new explorations, without the hassle or the expenses. We believe it's the best America has to offer, and it's meant to be shared. Visit your local camping world to find your home away from home today. Our oldest came to me maybe a, maybe a month or so ago. He whispers in my ear, and he says, you know, Poppy, I, I really want to go to New York and I, and I want to visit Gigi. That's yeah. the stuff that I'm like, okay, my kids are going to know their grandparents. Then you get an opportunity. Yeah. You get to do it. All right, come on, kids, let's load up the RV. Give all the bags to Daddy. For us, family is everything. Any opportunity that I get to go to Brooklyn, I think of my mom. Yeah. She was a special woman.
and um, she loved her hometown, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> now you excited? Yay! Yeah, let's go! And Gigi, she's you know my grandmother, right? But she's everybody's grandma. Instead of flying, we're taking the RV. We can't wait to stop along the way. This is where the Cubs play. And from Papi asked Mommy to marry him. Life is wonderful. You guys love getting out in nature? But life can be this good. Oh, I love seeing the kids learning new things. They're not allowed to play with fire, but when we go to campground, you know, they want to get in there, you know, just cooking hot dogs. What do you guys think? You can't be happy. There you go, buddy. This is special. <laughs> life is wonderful. So one of the coolest things about this adventure is our vacation begins where our driveway ends. You're not stuck to one thing. You can travel at your own pace. Exactly. Hey, listen, we gotta stop for food. Let's see, there's the cidery, Lost Boy Cider, is there that? Yeah. I think a lot of folks would get a lot out of an adventure and experience the outdoors. And there's a lot of national pride. For as hard as it is to pack up and get out and go, these moments when you're making s'mores, when the kids are sleeping and they're safe inside of the camper to drive through D.C. and to see the Capitol. This is our culture. This is us. When your four-year-old walks up to you and says, this is the best day ever, you're doing it right. We traveled over a thousand miles just to be with you. That is good. That is good. Yeah, it's just, it's just a great feeling to come back home and be with family. This Montana is beautiful, isn't it? it? Oh my gosh, I love it. Man, I it. love the color scheme. You know, we're supposed to meet Chris out here. Yeah. But where is he at? <laughs> I don't know where he's at, but evidently one of those bears I was talking about is in the bedroom. <laughs> Come on, I hear some snoring. Let's I hear see what's it up. too. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Three finger pour bourbon. Take a look. Oh. Let me tell you, this, this is seriously. Derby. This is a man who does have his dream job That's or right. is dreaming of his job. Come on, <laughs> man! It's time to get up. <laughs> it's the bear. It's time oh. to go to work. Oh, Too much man. bourbon. Hang on. Too what? much oh. bourbon. <laughs> That's, That's not it, man. Oh. Chris. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, first of all, I, I hope oh. you're ready for this. Oh, because, I am. You yeah. know, Kathy <laughs> Ireland and I were just at the Kentucky Derby having bourbons. That's all. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, it was. Yeah. It's a beautiful I, thing. I, I don't think that that's happened. I don't think Jim Ireland is there. You know, <laughs> yeah. with, with you. But so we're here in this beautiful, beautiful Montana. Yeah. Yes. Keystone, Montana, high country. High country. 385 BR. Now, this was you guys' pick. Yes. It was. And yeah. you picked a beauty because, you know, you got Montanas and you got Montana high countries. Right. 
Right. The Montana High Country is for that, you know, that group of folks that might be thinking about getting a half ton fifth wheel, but want to upgrade a little bit and not go all the way up to like an 18,000 pound, you know, Montana. Right. right. They want to kind of hit that sweet spot in between, but still have all the features and amenities you're going to get in a Montana. One of the top selling high pro or full full profile fifth wheels for gosh, I mean what, almost twenty years now? Yes. And you got over six foot four clearance wow. inside this front cap. That's which, what's great about the the full profiles. And, and yeah. especially this one. You talk about Montana. Montana. Have you, have you ever been to Montana? I have been to Montana. Montana is known as Big Sky Country. Big Sky. And and this is really kind of indicative of, of what Montana's about. You got this big open space throughout this unit. We're probably in the lowest part of the entire fifth wheel believe it or and not it's still yeah pretty good yeah, yeah this is this is the least amount of headroom you're going to get because we are in the front cap we're in it right you know, but this beauty i mean it's it's uh, 40 feet nine inches long thirteen thousand five hundred pounds dry wow, wow. yeah wow. so i don't I mean, know you i don't know. know if i'm even uh, that light you <laughs> i'm know? gonna tell you what after all this great food i've been eating out here i know i'm getting close <laughs> to that that's for sure yeah no i'm, I'm telling you it's great i'm actually nine foot eight inches tall and right. I still got some space. Yes, just like Kevin. Yes. Our yes, camera guy, yes, you know, 76418. Yes. 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 yes, exactly. Yeah, look, there yeah, he is. He, is, yeah, he yeah. is not cramped He's at all. He's got his head up into the skylight yeah. a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> and you will not be cramped at all with this beauty because you're talking about quality construction, which Keystone is known for. And these these things sell for high 70s. Right. Every day. People clamor for them because they're such great. But right now, since you guys picked it, Yep. And it is the ultimate RV show it national is. tour. It is. Tell me. We're going to do something special. I'm going to do something special. I'm going to do something special. We took it from that mid-70s price. I dropped it down to sixty-four nine ninety-five, But that's not it. I'm also going to take an additional 1000 bucks off. Oh, oh man. that's awesome. How about that? Oh. How about that? Now, look. <laughs> I'm going to say $64,995. Plus an additional thousand bucks off because that somebody out there has got to do a little bit of legwork to figure out what the total price yeah. is. <laughs> I'm not gonna do everything for you. Yeah, you, you, you know, you're not a mathematician. I've I've learned that about I'll, you. I'll feed Digby and Brickle treats, but okay. I'm not gonna feed everybody everything. <laughs> you, you know, I, I mean, when we talk about like discounts and we talk about pricing, you know, the thing about it is. Every little bit counts. Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. When you think yeah. about it, you're like, oh, that's a that's a big number for a fifth wheel. Well, let me tell you something. You got a big number and you get an extra thousand dollars off. That's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and what that's you can money. spend that on your dogs. Yeah, what are you yeah. And, and, your you're, dogs? and you're still talking about you know still less than 20, 30 bucks a day for a chance to get out in something as beautiful as this with quality construction, quality insulation. These are rated from yeah. zero to 110 degrees with the insulation. That's amazing. Yeah, you got yeah. two inch thick walls on each side. You got astro foil barriers, radiant foil barriers. I mean, they do such a good job of keeping the insulation and the temperature where you want it with these Keystone Montana high countries yeah. that you really, it's glamping yep. more than it is camping nowadays. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. But, I mean, look at this bed. How many dogs can fit yeah. on this bed? King-size bed. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Storage under it. Speaking of which, look at the hiding space for them over here in the mirrored wardrobe that oh, we got. Oh, that's awesome. Where you know the doors like go the all the way schemes. in. Man, yeah, the color schemes. Yes. Schemes. yes. Right. yes yeah, they, yeah. They, what, what they did for 2021, a lot of people said, hey, um, we want brighter interiors. Right. Can, you know, keep keep the furniture kind of semi dark for wear and tear and stains, but give us something bright and airy on the inside, appealing yeah. to the eye, because you want to be able to use it and enjoy it. Shows but, less dog hair too. Right. Fan. Right. Yeah, it blends in. It blends I mean, in. I'm hoping you guys actually scoop some of that up. And, <laughs> Well, yeah. Give it to me so I can yeah, yeah. Put a little bit of like a yeah. glue on the back of your head. I got that sand trap from number seven at Augusta back there, so you know we might want to hey, handle that. Why do you think I'm wearing a hat? <laughs> <laughs> Another great feature: we got washer dryer prep inside. Oh, wow. we oh got that's a great! Dual fifteen thousand BTU furnaces, thirty-five thousand BTU, uh, or excuse me, dual fifteen thousand BTU air conditioners, thirty-five thousand BTU furnace. Wow. wow. A lot of times you might get 13.5 or, you know, 15 and a 13.5, and then you get like a 28 or a 30,000 BTU. Keystone said, nope, 35 for the heater because you want to be able to stay well, warm we were talking while you about. watch your yeah, TV. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you were giving me some of the uh, Ian Baker statistics. <laughs> Has he been teaching you? He Has has been. been. Let me tell you what, the big dog, it, there, there's not a camper out there that Ian doesn't know and doesn't know information about. So I get a chance to kind of learn at the foot of the master there when it comes to the techs and the specs. Nice, yeah, nice. It's well, great. 
I'm going to tell you, that, that is something, though, that we appreciated about this unit was the fact that you could go camping at any time. Yes, you know? absolutely. Having dogs, we, you know, we may have to move different places just because we want to experience something different for right. them. And we want to go where the weather is better. But sometimes you get stuck in weather. I think it just, I think it just kicked on. Yeah, it did. We accidentally <laughs> hit the on. AC. So I'll tell you what, you guys open up that scissor door right there oh, and we're gonna we're gonna check that. out that bathroom on look this look 385 br go ahead Kev, I'll, I'll go in leave, behind you i'll just leave him in here so I'll this is him. the 2021 take a keystone look. montana high country 385 br starting at 64995 plus a thousand dollars off if you want to get in on that deal just text deals to 46642 drop us a comment down below deals Again, nate how beautiful is that shower feet tall and right now i got room that may be a little bit of an exaggeration but it is great in here the room that you have look at this it's like you can take that off oh yeah stick it up into the skylight but you don't even need to because again i i'm actually i'm, I'm telling you the truth this time i'm close <laughs> to six foot and i can take a shower without close any problem whatsoever i yeah. can get all this Luxurious yes. salad hair get of that, mine with. Get that quaff bouffant do blown it. out yeah, yeah. like no. we in North Dallas, baby. Yeah, no, uh, back in the 80s. Hang you know on. What I like about this too is it's, it's got kind of the the tri door here. You've got three different panels that open and shut, and I yeah. think that that's great. And you know, you've got to kind of the uh, the design the here and the, gla glass, the glass, the yeah. glass, the mm -hmm. kind of, you know, for me, yeah. I like clear glass because, you know, I like to, you know, showcase myself yeah, a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, you yeah. know what? Most people are a little bit more modest. I like the modest. frosted. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Most yeah, people I'm in the are same a little boat. bit more modest, and, and this is great for that, but it still gives you that feeling of openness that yep. you want when you're taking a shower. And you got the bench seat in there, too, for when you're ready to shave your legs. Oh, that's awesome. I do shave my legs. Yeah. How did you know that? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you got the swimmer's body. Oh, I, you do, know. I do. And you know what? I can't swim. You can't swim? I, I no. That's all, that's no. all I do. This I, is, I do this is actually float. as deep a water as I get in is this shower pan. <laughs> you know? And take that's a look. That's true. Take a look at the beautiful solid surface countertop there on the sink, too. So oh, what yeah. they did this year was they also undermounted the bathroom sink. Oh, yeah. So that it's easy to clean. You don't have that seal on top that can get dirty. Not only that, but, you know, rots and end up eroding away right. and have to replace it. So doing that, just another feature that Keystone adds to for that quality of craftsmanship and beauty. Yep, the Montana high country. They know what they're doing. Yep, 385 BR. 385BR starting right now. Sixty-four nine ninety-five. Look, we're just gonna shut Nate. In yeah, there. I can tell. I like that scissors door. Boom. <laughs> I like that scissors door. Can you hear Hello? me? Hello. <laughs> just leave him in there. Now, since this is a three eighty-five BR, the BR stands for bonus room, and with these. Uh, fifth wheels, when you get the bonus room, you get a loft bunk on top of the bonus room. Oh, yeah. This thing can sleep from eight to ten people. Wow. Yes. How many dogs? Uh, How many dogs you, well, sleep? I mean, it depends. Are we talking about like <laughs> chihuahuas or are we talking about, <laughs> no, you know, you. full, full blown love, Irish mastiffs? Uh, we were, if we're talking about, uh, you know, the Remington's dog, Ozo, yes, then, Oso. Yeah, it, it could sleep probably quite a few. You got, 30, you got 30 Osos or 16. Brickle and Digby's. Like How about right, that? Is that, is that Baker's <laughs> statistic right there for you? Got the twin mats up here. I mean, this is such. I, I like these layouts because you know the Montana High Countries are made for family camping. They added more floor plans. They they made them for families or for people with dogs uh, that that want to go and do some traveling with their two dogs. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> I think hey, that would be us. Got it, because you know. Two traveling dogs makes <laughs> dogs that travel so much better when you get to travel with two traveling dogs. Wow, that was a tongue twister that need not be, my friend. <laughs> need not be. Need, need not, not be. be. <laughs> we got so much to talk about here yeah, in this quality Montana craftsmanship. High country. I got I my command center. Twisters. I love oh, it. Man, look at that. Yes, you got. So this is like a mini mudroom. You got a little shelf storage right here. This is also the command center. Sorry, Kev. Don't want to see my big old ugly head. That, look at that is thing. key. Check your batteries. Run out your awnings. Run out your lights. The whole nine. Make sure the tanks. Check those where they're at. And since this is a 385BR, we got to talk about the bonus room. I love the bonus room, Nate, because I, I like to call it the in-law suite. Or for me, you know, ha having two boys, this is the game room. 
Because mm-hmm. yeah. you know, when you're on the road, you do get to reconnect with the loved ones. You do get to spend time. But every now and then, you also want that separation. Yeah, you got to have a breather. You got to have a break. Yeah. I so, would actually lock my relatives in this room and yes. not allow them out. Yeah. <laughs> or it may be vice versa. Maybe I would get locked in the I room. I mean, and you know, and they'll be fine. They got a they spot will. to put a TV. They got solid wood construction here with the hideaway hinges for their storage. And awesome. this is a hide bed sofa. So you could easily get two people on here. Well, take a look. I mean, there's four of us in here right now. Yeah. You yeah. know? And again, I'm 22 feet tall. Right. And, right. You know, so it's like you have space in this room. And that's something I liked about this unit because most fifth wheels, most towables, most RVs in general, they're going to have more of that open floor plan. I love it. But what this actually has is a separate little area here. Yeah. You can kind of get away just like we're talking about. And mm-hmm. this is something that you don't always find other than in the Montana. Yeah. I would use this for and like, other full profiles. That's right. I would use this for like a crafting room. Yeah. You know, or Oh, it's a great office yeah, space. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Absolutely. And a lot of people too, they they found, especially since you last year, you know, twenty twenty sucked. Let's just call it what it is. It, it you know, it, it it was a horrible year. Uh we didn't get a chance I don't to acknowledge get out. that it existed. <laughs> I know, actually. Right? Yeah, we deleted it. <laughs> We didn't get a chance to get out and do everything we wanted to do. So 2021 is going to be the year of RV travel. Oh, yeah. So many people are experiencing how great it is. And they're saying, oh, wait a minute. We can set this up at the lake. We can set this up at the beach. We can set it up wherever we want to because it's an RV. But it can be our vacation home. Right. Absolutely. With insulation like this, we can just set it whenever we're ready to go. We go. We go enjoy. We have all this beautiful space and area to enjoy each other's company, but more importantly, get away from everything yeah. and make it our vacation home. I, I love that more people are getting out, especially I love more people are getting out with their pets RVing because yeah. it's it's just a great way to travel. Yeah. I mean, to, to me, it's the only way. <laughs> now, I heard you mention between the Class A and the fifth wheel, how much more additional space you get. Oh, wow. What is that like going from that to this with the dogs? It's awesome. It's like I, I feel like we each can have our own space but be together. Mm-hmm. And we can cook our meals right here. They're still here. We yeah. can have the TV on. Digby loves the fireplace. Yes. So, I mean, the fireplace is – I never thought being from Florida that I would – just cherish a fireplace so yeah. much but it's not even just the heat it's like the ambiance we just yes. turn it on even if we don't turn the heat on it adds it's, such a nice yeah. little yes you got now this one here has the furion 30 inch you're talking about multiple flame settings multiple light settings roughly 5,000 btus of heat off of there too so knock the chill off the air as i like to say on those cool little okay. cool little nights and right above it you got your command center for your entertainment Got the little IRV technologies, AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth, HDMI. You can also run this off your cell phone. Oh, Pop wow. that in oh, there. Oh, that's you awesome. Can play the DVD goes right to the TV. Wow. And hey, look. You we, know what? I heard somebody talking about somebody hiding bourbon somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Is there any, <laughs> any bourbon up in here? Uh, I hate to tell you, nope. Jason and I already nope. killed the Pappy Van oh, Winkle. Man. That's, uh, yeah, man. That's, that's, that's gone. <laughs> no, that's too bad. I, I, have a, I have a heavy hand with my three-finger pours. Ooh, you like that. You like that. You like that. Yeah, no, this is beautiful. And, and I will say again, on that fireplace, I just like the way that the, you know, the they've surround. got that. Yeah, well, I like mm-hmm. the, the crystals that they got down there in the yeah. bottom. You I know? love it. You know, if you if you need some money to pay for it, you just break that open and, you know, take that down. I there think you that's go. as good as cash. <laughs> Trade it out. <laughs> you heard it here. Nate says that's as good as cash. That's as good as cash. <laughs> <laughs> you got the beautiful grace around. And now this decor, you remember we talked about in the bedroom how they lightened it up. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. look at how beautiful light and airy it is. Even the carpetless slides, the Thomas Paine chairs, and you, my friend, are sitting on another trifold sleeper. Easily get two people on this one because it's a three seater sofa. Oh, yeah. Pop that out. You got yourself a queen size bed. And I'm going to tell you, it feels good. That's yeah. the point. You know, to me, about a couch, it's like it's got to feel good. Sofa, couch, I don't know what you call it. I, you know, right. to me, it's a couch sofa. It's a sofa. But it's like, I love it because it feels good. I mean, yeah. it, it kind of fits you. You know, it kind of fits you like a yep. like a suit of cotton candy. You yes. Ever, you, you ever wore oh. a cotton candy suit? Man, sticky good like nothing ever <laughs> oh, had before. Oh, man. You, you just don't want to go to the dunk tank after that. You know, well, I made that mistake one yeah, time. Well, yeah, well, that, well, let me tell you, what that, that lady's auxiliary will never call me no. back. Oh, no. The truth. But I'm telling you, it does. It really, really feels good. And, you know, for us in our fiber, this is where we sleep. This is where yeah. we sleep. With yeah. the because dogs. With the dogs. Yes, absolutely. With the dogs. Well, you're, I mean, you're looking at what, what they've done with the materials. They, they make them more resistant to stains, to wear and tear, and yeah. pet friendly. Oh, you yeah. Know, just like with the flooring. Oh, totally. Yeah, I the mean, flooring, the hyperdeck flooring, yeah. easy to clean. The I less mean, carpet, 
the better. Yes. And as I far mean, as resistance to stains, I mean, that's yep. got to do with me, nothing to do with the dog. Oh, you know get what I'm this. Saying? Scientific fact. Talk about my boy Please. Ian. Okay. This is hyperdeck flooring. It is a polypropylene laminated fiberglass. What? That's some words right there. That is. <laughs> that's, that some is. Word, that's some quarter words. I'd have hit Scrabble like a champ. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I don't know either. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. All man. I know is somebody at Montana was in a lab cooking it up, and boom, we got beautiful residential style ducks inside the flooring. And you know, with Keystone, they, they got these tough lock joints in all okay. of the ducting that makes them almost indestructible. They add well, that. Let's, let's go take one out and beat it up. Let's I mean, see if we, you know, almost indestructible. We're gonna we're gonna find out. It may out. take me a couple of weeks, but I'm gonna try to destroy that thing. I'm gonna tell you. I might jump off the top of this 13 four inch high RV onto it, see what'll happen then. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it's called the High Country. <laughs> that's right. Woo, <laughs> woo. Or Jimmy Snooker no. right off the top. <laughs> Jimmy Snooker, I remember him. You <laughs> know, some wrestling. That's right. Yeah. Can you get me a drink? No, I can't get you. No, he drank it all. <laughs> I did. He I drank, drank it, it all. all. No, but I'm gonna tell you. You space. talk about you talk about construction of things, and you know, I make light of it because uh, I don't know anything. But you know, it's like <laughs> it is important because the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to spend all that money on your unit, your dream unit. You get it out there, and you find out maybe a year or two down the road, hey man. I got some problems here because yeah. I didn't make the right choice. Yeah. And that's what I will say I really appreciate about Camping World. They're going to hook you up with some quality stuff. You, yeah. you tell them what's important to you. Tell them what type of camping you're going to yeah. to get involved in, and they can hook you up with the right unit, with the right type of construction. I'm so glad you said that because we have over 160 locations, and we got people standing by right now. So if they say, hey, I want to know more about this 385 BR. You guys are talking about it. I love the bonus room. I just need a couple of differences, little odds and ends. I want to swap out here and there. We got over 80,000 factory fresh units coming over 20,000 on the lot right now. And here's the best part. They can go into any camping world, any gander. Not only can they go ahead and, Hey, I want to get this one. And when it comes, we'll deliver it right to you. But right. now we have the design and renovation center where oh, if they nice. come in, they say, Hey, I love these Thomas Paines, but uh, can I get a little something different? Yeah. I don't like to DIY my camper. Can you guys mm -hmm. do it for me? Absolutely. That's we got awesome. professional people standing by that'll help them out. And this one starting at sixty four nine ninety five, plus a thousand dollars off. Woo! I'm not doing math. No. Deals to four six six four two or drop us a comment down below. Deals. And they let your dogs come with you to look at they the RVs. Yes, too. we're no, pet friendly. I Absolutely. I, I I was questioning the last few weeks. You keep talking about this factory fresh. Yeah. I actually took a bite out of this unit, and I will attest to the fact. How fresh is it? It hit. Oh, it was a little gritty, actually. Yeah, like grandmama's loving coming oh, out man. the oven. I think it was some of that uh, fiberglass uh, you were talking about that got in my teeth. But I'm gonna tell oh. you, it was factory fresh. <laughs> you gonna have a fun if, night. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you, if you end up with this unit and you go outside and you're like, I don't know if this thing's new. There's a bite out of it. One or two things have happened. You've got the unit that I bit. Are you in bear country? And you need to get out of there. That's right. You in Montana. <laughs> you in the hard country. No, I'm telling you, I love this unit. And, I mean, I'm just so happy that we're able to, to show it because, like I say, there's not much about this unit no. other than it's not mine that I don't like about it. And, you know, I, I love this right here, Kev. You're doing such a good job of getting both of these guys in the <laughs> shot. Look, get look. This right here is what I love most about RVs. What the, be, the, being, being able to be separate? The ch <laughs> yes. <laughs> the yes. chance to reconnect. This because it, it's about relaxation. It's about getting out and enjoying life, enjoying the country, and seeing it the safest way possible in an RV. Right. And when you're able to do something like this, just hang out. You got beautiful leather it's recliners. You got a trifold sofa. You got a freestanding dinette over here. So when you want to get fancy, break out this, the wine glasses. Do your meal right here. I drink out of the bottom myself, but you know. Because this one has, we got opposing slides on this one, which opens up the air, or open up the area, allowing us to get this beautiful solid surface island That's with awesome. the extender LED accent lights. Check out my. You need all the counter space you can get. And check out this beauty right here. Look at this thing. Undermounted stainless steel, oversized pot wow. fan bowl. I call it the 70-30. Oh, and look what this thing should have been. Oh, 75811. <laughs> Not today, Jack. Not today. <laughs> because Nate and Rachel picked it. Yeah. 
We right. gonna give it to you for sixty four nine ninety five plus a thousand dollars off. We, 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 but, but I mean, we don't, we don't, we don't have to make up that difference, do we? Like us personally, because you know, I need I to buy some dog. Yeah, we. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, this ain't coming out of my pocket. That's what I'm asking, Chris. Because sometimes I see you on here, and you're always like, "Hey, I'm gonna give you the deal because of these people." Yep. And then they yep. end up with a call from Camping World yep. saying, yep. "Hey, yes. where's our money?" Yes, <laughs> you yes. Know? You kidding me? <laughs> Yep. Can, oh yeah, because right now my buddy Chris, who handles all this inventory, he's losing his mind, tearing his head. Chris, Chris said, "What for the price of this thing?" That's what I'm saying. Don't worry about it. They gonna cover the nut. We got it. No, <laughs> it's all good. I, I, like I say, I, you know, face. look at this oh, beautiful area right three here. Three burners. I mean, three burners. That's crucial. And this yeah. refrigerator. This is Seriously. Nick's favorite right here. Uh, it is. It oh. is. Residential fr so here's the thing with the Montanas. They have sister units to each one that they make. You right, got an even right. number and an odd number. So this is the 385 BR. There's also a 384 BR. Yeah. So obviously we pick the odd. Well, number. the odd yeah. comes with this big residential fridge. The the evens come with the RV fridge. Oh, okay. So they give you the option of being able That's to have perfect. either. That's yeah. perfect. I want to talk about the stove a little bit more because I mean it's so important to me to to have an oven. Yes. yes. And you know the cooktop. Yes. I love it. I make espresso every morning. You know I'm on a, the on the on the oven on the cooktop. Yeah. I do on the cooktop. Hey, yeah. I'm look. I'm an outdoorsman. You right. know I will scale the highest peak to get to the best mocha latte. Oh. But sometimes I don't want to go out for that. Okay. And this is. You know what I use right here. So right. she makes breakfast. I make all of the coffee drinks, the espresso drinks right here. Oh. And so we're able to do it all at the same time. Yeah, we have a little uh, stovetop yeah, espresso, little maker, espresso machine, a little yeah, metal thing. Bro. I yeah. do I do shrinky dinks. Oh, I like those too. You <laughs> know Got the saying? pantry over here. Oh, that is key. Look how beautiful that smells. I mean, it is just... I mean, it, it really is camping with opulence. It's glamping it nowadays. Is. So you're not giving up any creature comforts of home. And I know during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we, we won't really get a chance to go through all the features and highlights of the units we cover, like this beautiful Keystone Montana High Country 385BR. But that's why we got folks standing by to tell you more information about it. They'll give you the virtual walkthroughs. They'll tell you about how easy it is to get the paperwork done, how easy it is to get it home delivered to you. And all you got to do is just text DEALS to 46642 or drop us a comment down below. DEALS for a chance to get this Keystone Montana High Country 385BR starting at $64,995 plus a grand off. And, and I don't have to make up the difference. That's the main thing. This is my favorite part. Love it. This is my favorite yeah. part. Love it. You can cook outside. And you have a fridge right there for your drinks, for yeah. your wine, for your beer, my like three, whatever. Three yeah, right. yeah <laughs> absolutely. And, yeah, I mean, and this I, is steel, so it's oh, it's yeah. a lot. It's easier to clean, and it's a little bit more rugged. I love how they did the uh, the, the grill style two burner as opposed to just you know the right? two yeah, rounds. Yeah, that's awesome. Right? Yeah, gives you yeah, a little yeah. bit more room. You got prep space. You even have a cutting board right what? there that comes out. Yep. Look at oh, my, man. With the Montana. You got a heated and enclosed underbelly, 12 volt heating pads on the water tanks. And those water tanks are seamless rotocast tanks. So with the heating pads, you can take this thing through extreme temperatures and not have to worry about it busting on you. That's you know a little bit of that safety and security. If Peace you're giving those Ian statistics, you need to do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Ian I can't can deliver it. this to your driveway with that pyramid of power. He Are you does kidding or whatever. me? Ian could probably tow this thing. Have you probably seen? Him? He's a house. That yeah. boy. He's that boy is strong. He's 22 feet six inches tall. Yeah, he, he actually actually is, uh, is is the body double for the Rock oh. in a lot oh, of movies. Yeah, yeah. That and, makes and the total Rock was like, sense. bro, you need to you need to slow down with my the working now. My name actually is uh, Craig. It was supposed to be Craig, but my mom misspelled it, so it's uh, C R A G, and that's kind of a rock. That is a rock. I, I'm like Isn't that like a rock, a rock jutting out of something you trip on? I or something you it. fall in? I was definitely something you <laughs> fall in. Definitely something you fall in. Heated pass-through storage. We had talked about the insulation on the, in, on the inside, but you got slide toppers, another great feature. On those TrueFit slides, the uh -huh. TrueFit slides is another thing Keystone did because when you – here, Kev, I'm going to shut the door so you can see. When you have a true fit slide, it's made for that space, and it minimizes components running in and out. You get the same insulation all the way around the slide. When you minimize components moving stuff, you minimize stuff that's going to break. Right. Throw on top of that, we got the Road Armor CRE 3000 suspension down there on oh, the 7,000-pound 7, 7, Dexter Gladiator axles, man. What is this going to do for you? I mean, so, just tell the people what that means, because, you know, you, you talk to me about it. What is that yeah. going to do for me? So here's the thing. Those Dexter Gladiators, plus they're easy lube, so 
when you want to mm. loop, re-loop, easy to do. But more importantly than that, the fact that each one of them is 7,000 pounds, independent, and you got that road armor suspension yes. in there, yes. it really minimizes when you're going down the road that rocking back and forth. I, I think I've heard somebody yeah. call it chucking and bucking, too. Ch oh, you the chucking and bucking's on the hits, Let's talk about this. The chucking and bucking. Got to talk about the chucking and bucking. So once again, Montana High Country, 385 BR, starting at 64995 to get it, plus we're going to give you $1,000 off. Just text DEALS to 46642. Drop me a comment down below. This is going to stop the chucking and bucking. That yes. road armor hitch gives you eight more inches of turning radius wow. than some of the other hitches. Wow. You got the hitch vision there. You got the storage box. But this right here, that's going to stop your chucking and bucking. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's you know, going to do it. I'm going to tell you, when we talk about this, you're, you're probably saying, hey, Nate, man, why are you selling to me? Well, I'm selling to you because this is great. Not just because this is a great RV, but RVing is a great way of it life. Is. Yeah, so, it is. Rachel, Nate, two traveling dogs, thank you guys for picking this Montana High Country 385BR to be your pick. If you want more information, just drop us a comment down below. Deals or text deals to 46642. Let's get back to the stage with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. They say life is about the little things, those moments we unplug, packing up the camper after a long week, making room for new memories. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. If you've wandered the mountains, or ridden the trail, if you've discovered beauty that's left you speechless, or laughed like you haven't laughed in years, if the food tastes remarkably better, and the friendship is somehow deeper, you've probably been camping. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors forever. It's the best America has to offer, and it's meant to be shared. RVing is for everyone. I don't know where this day went. I mean, bam, just like that. It comes and goes. I'm telling you, that's why I'm so sad. <laughs> it's the We're, end of day two. I'm yes, so, because this is going so it's quick. So go it's going way too fast. Five weeks almost in the books. Almost eight million of you have tuned in to become part of our Camping World Gander RV and Outdoor family on the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. And we're just, I feel like we're just getting started because it is going fast. And you know what we need to do? Some jumping jacks? Besides jumping jacks, <laughs> we need to do another Ultimate Giveaway. Oh, we got to get some so away. Excited. All right, we're going to give away right now the uh, Coleman Power Sports UT250, one of our favorite vehicles. They're and, just uh, driving behind us. Yeah, they're just so having a good fun. time <laughs> and, and enjoying those. You guys ready to do this? Yes. Uh, we're ready. But first, if you haven't already, make sure you register. you got to text URVS to 46642, just like the next person just did. The, the winner, winner is Brad Renson. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good job on registering. You know what's amazing <laughs> to me is having folks like us, the Remingtons, of course, my, my dear friends, Tiffany and Caleb, on the road with us all the time. Tiffany's expecting a baby. We feel like we're all part of the same family because we really are. I've got the new Class A coming. We're going to be on the road together. You guys are going to park in my driveway. On I mean, that's what it's all again. about. That's what it's all about. Uh, meeting, becoming family, becoming friends out on the road as we continue to go across the country and bring, matter of fact, over $250,000 worth of giveaways over the next several weeks. Now, tomorrow we're giving away what? An RV. I'm always geeking out by it. It's she really amazing. does. She's 
sings, she squeaks, she has fun. <laughs> they you, they do it together. It's crazy. But tomorrow we're going to do more of the same. We have some amazing deals ready for you. These are ultimate RV show pricing. Again, over 80,000 factory fresh straight to you. We've got you ready. We've got you dialed in. We'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. Thank you so much. The end of day two. Woo!